Throughout history, free thinkers have outraged the religious with their wacky ideas about the virtues of free speech, reason, and of course, eating babies. Now, God is dying, and it's time to dispose of his remains. From the pits of hell, Satan sends two puppets of the imperialist West and the Zionist Jews against God, Islam, and tiny kittens to bring you their propaganda and conspire for a new world order. This is Secular Jihadist for a Muslim Enlightenment with Ali Rizwi and Armin Navabi. Welcome everybody to another episode of Secular Jihadists for a Muslim Enlightenment. My name is Ali Rizvi. I am the author of the book, The Atheist Muslim. And with me as always is Armin Navavi. Armin Navavi. Hello. Hey. Oh, you said hello without, yeah. He's, uh, he is the, Armin is the founder of Atheist Republic, which is the largest online platform for uh, atheists uh, in the world, actually with over 2 million followers and counting, 2 million people and counting, and he is also the author of Why There Is No God. Um, so until usually... Until we get cancelled. Until, for now. Until we get cancelled, yeah. You're not going to get cancelled, don't worry, I guarantee it. Um, uh, today, uh, so, you know, you're, a lot of you are used to us uh, having on uh, ex-Muslim atheists. I mean, that's one of the things that we do. That's what both of us are. And today we're going to switch that around. Uh, so uh, we have a, a very special guest who is an ex-atheist Muslim, right? So um, uh, we are we will be speaking to uh, Mustafa Ruzbahani. Mustafa Ruzbahani was born into a Muslim family in Iran in uh, 1963. Uh, he lived in Iran through the 1979 revolution, and then uh, he fled for Sweden in 1987 as a political refugee, and that's where he lives now. Uh, and then three years after he moved to Sweden, uh, he became an atheist. But uh, he has since converted to Islam again. Uh, so he's joining us. He has been uh, where we are. He was an atheist like, uh, like all of us. But uh, we're going to talk about why he came back uh, to Islam later on and why he doesn't like the term revert. He prefers the term converted to, to um, reverting. So uh, Mushaba, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much, <clears throat> and hello to everybody. Thank you for inviting me and uh, uh, having me in your show. Thank you. Yeah, we're looking forward to this conversation. So I wanted to start, I mean, you have a fascinating history uh, about when you started. So I think for the first um, few minutes of this, I'd really like to hear your story about how you, know, you were raised in a Muslim family in Iran, what it was like going through the revolution, and importantly, how you became an atheist. Once we set that up, I think we can We'll go on to what happened afterwards. Yeah, um, of course, uh, I was born in a Muslim family and uh, I knew a little bit, you know, not much about Islam. I just, I just had heard it from parents a little bit here, there, and then uh, uh, in the society. And then revolution came and uh, yes, uh, we were fighting. First, we brought down the Shah and then uh, Khomeini got the power. Uh, that's a long history who helped Khomeini to get the power. The West, they helped him to get the power. Uh, and then uh, he started to crack down uh, all oppositions and uh, uh, all freedom. He, uh, you know, uh, so that's why uh, we were fighting against him. And then I was forced to move to Sweden because of uh, political reasons. And here in Sweden, I had the time uh, to, I was around 25, I started to think about God, if he exists or doesn't exist. After a few days, just because of lack of knowledge, I can say, uh, I had absolutely no knowledge of anything. So that's why I came to conclusion after a few days, I said, ah, God doesn't exist. And then <clears throat> later on, when I got better knowledge of, of different things, I started to realize that I was wrong because I learned about different religions as well. And I learned some uh, scientific uh, facts uh, that it, it matches uh, Abrahamic religion. And I started to think, and then I slowly, slowly, I didn't convert to Islam right away. I slowly, slowly, I realized that I was wrong. And I realized that uh, Islam is uh, not only the message of God, but is uh, the only solution to all our problems we are facing on this planet. It has uh, the solution 
And uh, that's why I'm going to talk about that. That uh, for me, it doesn't matter if God exists or doesn't exist. Uh, as Armin, uh, you have you told me that he has written a book <laughs> that not, God doesn't exist. For me, it doesn't matter. For me, it doesn't matter if uh, Jesus is son of God or he's God or he's uh, just a prophet. For me, it doesn't matter if uh, <clears throat> Ganesha is a piece of stone or wood or he's almighty God. For me, the most important is that what the message can do for us today. Do we need that? I know that uh, uh, Abrahamic religion, they have helped us in the past uh, with the rules and uh, so on. They have come and uh, helped us in the past. I say that even if uh, their uh, message is not helping us anymore, which it, it has done in the past, but if it doesn't help us today anymore, then we can dump it. But I see that we have a lot of problems on this planet. We are living in a modern jungle. Before it was a, a real jungle, now it's a modern jungle uh, with the jungle rules that um, the, power, the most powerful one get the most, the weak one get the least or nothing. So this jungle make everybody do bad deeds. Uh, the, the strongest one, they want to get more and more. Uh, one, le, yeah, one percent of the strongest one get. Uh, they have one hundred ten trillion dollars. Fifty percent of the total capital of the planet belong to them, and they want more. For that, they make coup d'état here. They they attack this country or that country, and uh, they have uh, you know drug cartels, weapon car cartels, and so on. They support dictators to get more. Mm -hmm. They do whatever. And that hundreds of millions of people who live on one dollar a day, they also have to survive. So they also do every bad deeds to survive. So this jungle and the jungle rule is our problem. I, so, okay. Yes. No, so I yeah. So I think you're talking about inequalities and you know opportunity inequalities, wealth inequalities, and, and a lot of that. And I agree with you on that. There's a lot of that around the world. But you are yes. in, you're in Sweden. Okay. So yes. In Sweden, yes. So you have a, a system over there. If you look at uh, Islamic governments so of people who have incorporated a uh, Quranic law and really looked at the way that the Quran and the Hadith are and they've implemented their laws and you look at the levels of inequality and the levels of prejudice against the minorities there. Um, and then you look at Sweden, which has a completely secular system um, and they have been able to more than most countries in the world maintain some level of equity, e economic, equality, um, you know, while maintaining, you know, the aspects of human nature. Um, and, it, you know, they have been able to provide ideal societies where that are low crime, that are high indexes of happiness, uh, where uh, people, even poorer people, uh, tend to have quality of a quality of life that is satisfactory, where people take care of everything. I mean, you're, you're living in an almost ideal what's looked at by the rest of the enlightened world as a, as a kind of utopia. And it is completely secular. And so how, how isn't that a system that guarantees what you want a lot more than something archaic like Islam, which in history, even though you may think that ideally it would work, but whenever it's been put into practice, it hasn't resulted in that kind of outcome. Yes, but uh, the thing is that uh, it has never been put in practice. You know, uh, all these uh, countries, I mean, I don't believe that any of them even majority of fellow Muslims, they don't know Islam at all, you know. They, they just know a traditional Islam. And uh, many of these, uh, you know, the, even the, the leaders of these countries, they are corrupted people, you know, they don't believe in Islam. And uh, for example, my home country, uh, Iran, okay, there are a bunch of mafia who, uh, you know, they are, they kill Marxists, communists in Iran, but their biggest supporter are all communists on the planet. You know, mm -hmm. China, Russia, before it was Soviet Union, North Korea, all of them, you know. So they are just uh, a bunch of, uh, we say it in Quran, in Islam, <laughs> you know, yeah. they uh, Hippocrates. And they, for example, they, they kill uh, Shia Muslim, Sunni Muslim inside Iran, 
but they support Al Qaeda, Taliban. They support uh, Hamas. They support. All right, we're getting a bit off track here because I really want to go back to you. Uh, you defending Islam while you're actually based on what you mentioned. You're not. You're not even a Muslim right now. You specifically said that it doesn't matter that God exists or not. You are not a Muslim. I'm sorry no. to tell you that no, okay. you uh, are no. Let, let, can I just finish? Yes, you just yes. mentioned that that is the the most essential part of being a Muslim is to it's believe the the fundamental part of Islam is tawhid is believing mm. in the oneness of God and believing that that's true. Yes. Um, to be a Muslim, you have to believe Allah is God, um, and you know, and Muhammad is his prophet, and the Quran is a direct word of. His his direct word of God, and you also said that you, it doesn't matter to you if there is a God or not. Like, can you clarify what you mean by that? All right, I I didn't say I don't believe that they are. <laughs> I said that as a former atheist, okay, mm. for me it doesn't matter if they exist. If the Almighty God who has created the entire universe cannot guide us to a better, better world, to a better life, then mm. I better follow a, a politician. Uh, um, a political organization who can, okay? But mm. I know and I believe that he can, okay. he can and he exists, okay? I didn't say that he doesn't exist. I said that if he doesn't do that, doesn't matter if he exists or doesn't exist, okay? So right. if he exists and he cannot do that, then he's not Almighty God, then he's not worth of uh, being worshipped. Okay. Okay. So, so this, this is this is different from what you said because that was in response to you, you know, saying why there is no God. You you saying that now you're clarifying, which makes this makes more sense a, a yes, little bit. Yes. But before it seemed like you're saying it's not even a relevant question to ask. Um, I mean, don't you like? Is it? Don't you think like whatever the solution is to all the problems? So it seems like to me that you're you're trying to pick an uh, your ideology based on how useful it is to solve problems, right? No, I can, I can, uh, I can give you the facts. I cannot just, uh, you know, uh, say something that doesn't exist. I can give you the facts that the source is this: the jungle and the jungle rules, and the solution is in Islam. Islam tells us what is the solution. Okay, so that's that's what I'm going to explain for you now. Right. Then no, if, like if yeah, uh, but we... I, I just I just say this one uh, okay. as a, as a rational person. Uh, if you understand that uh, this is the disease and you realize that the, the disease and the, there is just one medicine for this disease, so any rational person should accept it, okay? So we have to find first the disease, okay? And then we talk about the solution to the disease, okay? Or the medicine to the disease to, to get rid of the di disease. Mm. Uh, and uh, if, uh, if I can explain for you, if you accept that, yes, okay, that's the, the, the source of the problem, so then uh, you should accept that the, the solution is this one. And I, I will accept if you have a better solution, okay? I don't, I don't mind, as I said. I think we're mixing two completely separate discussions here, and that's why I think it's a source of the confusion. Yes. There's one conversation about what is true and what's not true, okay. and there's a different conversation about what are the problems that we're facing and what are the best uh, ways to solve them, right? And I think you're jumping between these two conversations as if we're answering the same question. Um, when you, when it comes to picking your ideology, does it, regardless of what the solution is to our uh, to our problems, right? Do you okay. care about what is true and what's not true? Do you care about your belief system matching reality before we even start thinking about what's the best way to solve the world yeah, problems? Yes, definitely, I, definitely. Okay. I believe, yes. Definitely. Okay, so given that you're looking, given that we are, so all, all of us here want to know what's true, what is your criteria on knowing what's true and what's not true? How do you decide? Um, because uh, I, as I said that I see the, the problems on the planet, I see that uh, we are living in a jungle, and- We, uh, we jump, we just jumped to that, we, we just did that, what I just mentioned, yeah, no, we just jumped. Yeah, it's, that's it's the just, reality. That's the reality. You ask me, what is the reality? So this is the reality that we are living in this jungle. Okay, but but I think you're you're confusing again the two uh, to two com two different conversations that I just mentioned. You're okay. okay. So whether some like there's a claim here, okay, about uh, 
you, so you, you jump to another question like, oh, we have problems and we need to find ways to solve these problems. Okay, that's another conversation. Okay. But when it comes to the existence of God, whether um, you know God spoke to Muhammad, whether the Quran is actually comes from God Himself or not, these are claims, right? Okay. So that conversation, that other conversation about oh, what's the best solution to solve the world's problem? We're not having that right now. Okay. We're, we're right now we're focusing on how do we know these claims that Muhammad was, you know, the prophet of God? That if it, that if there is a God, that if the Quran was written by God, was a, the word of God. These claims, how do we evaluate whether they're true or not? What's your criteria? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> in reality, uh, that's quite, uh, you know, difficult for any some people who don't want to accept the, the facts. It's difficult to, to, you know, to prove. I don't have a video of God talking to Muhammad or so on. But, um, you know, it is reasonable to think that when in 21st century, uh, almost no one can find the, the way out of this jungle and an uh, illiterate man 1400 years ago, he could give us this solution, okay? That makes uh, sense that this man could have just uh, gotten this message from a higher power. I will tell you one thing uh, also that, I don't know if you are familiar with, uh, you know, because uh, uh, when, uh, when I was 25 and became atheist later, when I found out that there are, uh, you know, uh, two, two different theories for uh, end of this world, okay? And I realized in, um, I learned that in uh, paganism, uh, there is no end, you know, there is reincarnation and you be uh, re reincarnated uh, forever, you know? And in Abrahamic religion, there is an end to this world. I was, I started to think that how come those people thousands of years ago, they knew that there is an end to this world. And uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the, how the world will end. There are two different theories, okay? One is the freezing, another one is the, the pulsing theory. Quran is- I, Sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Do you know, yes, exactly. Do you know the, the, uh, the pulsing theory? What, what is the pulsing theory? Have you heard about that? Pulsing theory? Okay, let me know. No, you have not. How about that? Pulsing yes. theory. I, I think uh, just going back to Armin's question, because one of the things that you said, right, uh, earlier on is that you said now, that if, if, I, I, if I want to sh if I want to prove you in this way, then uh, it will become. I know, know. I know where this is going. Uh, so here's the thing: you, you're going to see something no. scientific. So here's what's going to yes, happen. Scientific. I, I want to know. I want to know. But, just but one you, second. You, you're going to find some loose scripture or something that Muhammad said or something in the Quran that vaguely resembles some new modern scientific discovery. And you're going to claim that this is something that Muhammad could have not known unless he had divine authority, a connection to a divine authority. That's basically what you're going to do, I think. Is that but, correct? Uh, listen to me, uh, Armin. You are in 21st century. You don't know what is a uh, uh, false theory. But Muhammad said it 1400 years exactly. ago. Okay. Hold on. He, said, I know, I, he said it 1400 years ago. How could he know that? He, did not, because he did not know. It's absolute. Yeah. It's absolute rubbish for you to to. I know what you're attempting you know to do. Have you heard? The, have you read the verse? I know. I I know exactly what you're attempting to do and what no, you're attempting you, to no. do. How, no, how I you, haven't. I so, already told so you I haven't. You know, how do you know that he did? Because I because because what you're attempting to do, I have experienced your at what you're attempting to do, countless number of times. Here, okay, let's so, bring it up. So let's, let's, no, no, let, so let's yeah. focus on this. Let's focus on this. Now, I told Focusing you, that, I told you, I told you from the beginning, okay? If you don't want to believe it, okay? That's no, the, no, let's, let's try it. Let's try it. It's impossible, okay? Let's try it. So let's, let's try it. Let's leave it, okay? Let's leave no, no, it. Let, let's focus right. on the pulsation theory. Okay. Yeah, I, the I, that's what I was going to say. Let's so, Alice say. Mood, oh, sorry. I think your birds are in the back. Yeah, your bird yeah, is he, very loud. He's very angry. <laughs> so. Uh, Muj, let's let's do this. Let's. let's... Evelina, just a second. Evelina, this is. 
Okay, let me yes. put Sam, the, I can't believe it. We just can I put the burn outside? Just yes, so let's do that. And, and yeah, go it. ahead. Yes. So let's so begin with the process. And that's actually for the sake of the audience to explain, because right. I know exactly what you're saying, and I think that that's exactly what he's doing. So let's yeah. um, have him uh, explain his theory and just I don't think it. he's the best person for explaining it. Do you want to just bring it up and just read it for us? No, no, no. Yourself? I, let's have him hear his case and let's counter um, it. Okay, I think because for the audience, I think that'll be better because they'll get an idea of we want to know how this kind of mindset works. This right? is the way so pathetic, the way but okay. Hold on. Well, let's, so very, very, I'm reading it. Is it. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So it's stars that it's about Let him stars. explain it in his words, and then after that, you can say anything you want to. Yeah, okay, okay. Assuming oh. an expansion and contraction of a star as a yeah, whole sorry. regular. Okay, okay, so about, 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 about the about Teach ahead. us. Teach us about the, is, the pulsation theory. Yes, so we'll, we'll hear you out, and then we'll, uh, Armin will respond. Go ahead. All right. Armin, okay, uh, yes, yes. Uh, there are two different theories. Okay, one is expansion. And it says that the world will expand. Okay. First oh. of all, uh, first of all, this expansion also has. Uh, we have come to know uh, recently that the, the world is expanding after the Big yes. Bang. Yes. And uh, it will expand until uh, every uh, energy is uh, used, and it will be just a freezing cold uh, universe, and it will never happen again. Okay. But yeah, the pulse in theory says that after expansion. Uh, then it will come back again, the big crunch. Come yeah, back to get again, and then everything come back to the uh, point which is uh, uh, started to the yeah, big bang I, again. I, I heard of this theory. And then again, big bang, and again, uh, right. uh, big crunch. So uh, let me uh, read for you the the verse. Just just to be clear, I heard of this theory before. I didn't know it was called the pulsation theory. Okay. But yeah, yeah, it's it's also called the oscillating theory. Then, but anyway, let's uh, let's read the verse. Mustafa, can you read the verse? Yes. Uh, j j also, let's let's be clear that this is not a, a proven theory. This is just like uh, just, just, I, 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 just uh, there are many uh, many verses uh, about different scientific okay. facts. I just uh, tell you <coughs> this one. I'll see. Armin, let's yeah. Okay. The day when we uh, can you can you write, mention the chapter and the verse, please? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, it is Quran 21, uh, 104. 21, 104, okay. Yes. The day when we will fold the heaven like the folding of a written sheet for the record. As we began the first creation, the first creation started from the Big Bang, okay? And we fold it back again to the same place. We will repeat it. We will repeat it, okay? That is a promise uh, binding up in us. Indeed, we will do it, okay? So there are other things, okay? As I said, it's difficult for you might not uh, even think about it, okay? But I started to think about such things. And as I said from the beginning, it doesn't matter at all if he exists or doesn't exist, if Muhammad was a liar, okay? Let's say Muhammad was a liar, but he had the solution to every single problems you are facing on this planet. Okay, and unfortunately, even a majority of Muslims on this planet, they don't know that, okay? Otherwise, we would have been in a perfect world by today. Yes, it was early for people to understand it, but today is 21st century, and we are starting to understand it, okay? And uh, that's why I'm trying to teach everybody what is the source of our problems and what is the solution, okay? So, yes, please. Armin, go ahead. I mean, okay, first of all, this doesn't say anything um, l like the uh, pul uh, pulsation theory at all. all right, okay. um, to be f to be fair to the Quran, the Quran has a lot of uh, claims about how nature works, and the vast majority of them are completely inaccurate about the way the sun moves, the, the earth moves, about how what keeps the earth to, um, you know, from not having earthquakes, about how um, fetuses are made there. But a book, any book like the Quran or Bible, they have so much random nonsense about how nature works that you are, it would be very extraordinary if all that random nonsense sometimes doesn't sound something 
close remotely close to what actually happens in nature you don't just find that in the quran by the way any other creation story that you look at throughout history i could make connections to the stories that they mention to something that we found that is scientifically accurate for example there's a lot of other creation stories that have nothing to do with islam that constantly mention that life came from a large body of water and what we look at what we actually show in uh, science is that, yeah, the earth at some point was covered with water uh, and life came out of the oceans, right? So if if this verse suggests that the Quran is a, a true religion, then that would make that, cl that creation story where life came out of a whole bunch of body of water, that creation story of all those other mythologies will actually prove also that all those other religions are true as well. With regards to your claim about solution and the Islam giving us the right solution to fixing our problem, and that's why it makes Islam the true religion, uh, every time we look at, okay, well, show us one Islamic country that is actually functioning properly, you always say, like, well, we, they don't have the true Islam. They don't have the true Islam, so it's just basically an, your imagination of what it could be like. You, you have no proof of your claim. We're like, hey, if Islam was um being um you know practice you know truthfully then we would have this utopian beautiful society and this imaginary utopian society that has never worked out anywhere if any country has followed islam you don't have a single example for that is your proof that islam has the solution for all our world problems so these are so far your two two claims this very loose uh, uh, proximity of what this verse is describing to something that you found in science. Honestly, if you look at any any ra any book and you can't and you're if you can't find like I could pick a cooking book and I could find loose um, um, you know connections to what the cooking book is saying to something about how the universe was created. I could find that for you. You just need a strong imagination. Um, so you so far these are your proofs. A loose connection of this verse to uh, the how universes came to one theory out of many other theories, and we don't even know if the theory is true, and also solutions to problems that we actually haven't um, empirically shown that it's true. Anyways, that's- Mr. Uh, go ahead and respond, and then after that, I have a, a question as well. Go ahead. Yeah, I, um, uh, as I said uh, from beginning, uh, I don't want to go to that, uh, you know, uh, you know, discussion that if God exists or doesn't exist, okay, because it is up to uh, individual to accept the, the, the proof or not, okay? Um, my main point is that uh, we are living in this uh, jungle, I told you from the beginning, if Islam cannot, okay, it doesn't matter. Let's say that he was a prophet of God, let's accept it, uh, Armin, for, for a minute, okay? That he was prophet of God, God exists, he created the entire universe, but he cannot save us, he cannot help us now, okay? He helped us. 1400 years ago in many, many ways, but he cannot do it any anymore today. We don't need him. Uh, we used him, we used everything he uh, taught us. Now we don't need him anymore. So I accept that we dump it, okay? But I told you that we have problems. You know yourself, we have a lot of problems on this planet and we cannot get rid of it without an ideology, okay? okay. Because because uh, let me go straight to the, you said Islamic countries, no Islamic countries on this planet exist because Islam system is different to the system we are living in today, the jungle system. Islam is against the jungle system. Every point a single country on this planet that is not living or ruling uh, according to the jungle system, we call it capitalism. The jungle system is capitalism, that the, the strongest one, they get, get the most, the weakest one get the least, okay? And the strongest one get the opportunity to become trillionaires, yes? Okay. They okay. can get as much as, uh, as rich as they want, okay? Yeah. Even this, during pandemic, you know that they got $300 billion richer, some of them, Facebook and then uh, Amazon and so on, okay? So That's this right. system- But, but we're, system, we're moving, yes. I, I know, so we're not, I, I, so I don't wanna to get too much into the whole capitalism thing. The, the only thing I wanna say is that it, it's not just about the strongest one get the most and the weakest ones get the least. In places, for example, like Sweden, like Norway and some of these democratic socialist states, for instance, right? It's a matter of, that everybody gets whatever they need to live a decent life 
and those who work harder do get a little bit more. So there's a marriage between that. But I, I don't want to get into that right yes, now. I, I can explain to, about that also. <laughs> sure, sure. I, I want to ask about, so you're saying that, you know, Islam is something that in a way died as soon as it came out because it was never properly implemented. Uh, none of the Islamic countries today are actually following it, right? Even though they are looking at the Quran, they're looking at some of the verses, they're interpreting it the way that it's written and they're applying it. Uh, you're saying that it has never been able to be followed. It has been misunderstood by so many people. It's been misinterpreted by so many people, not just a few people, but billions of people around the world have been, have gotten it wrong. So because sorry, I tell you why, because it is, it belongs to the future. Okay. It is uh, out of imagination. People but, were, uh, yes, uh, but, 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 today, just... but the, the message is there and today we have gotten it. Today we yeah. understand it. Okay. We are going I, to spread it. The yeah. message is there. I get you. I get your point. I understand yes. what you're saying. Okay. Yes. But the, the problem is that if it is such a good message and if it was yes. written by somebody who is, who knows all of this, who had 1400 years ago, they knew what the si answers to all these scientific questions were according to you, then why is it communicated in a way that billions of people in the world don't understand it? Now, I'll just tell you, I've written a book, Armin's written a book, yes, okay? Yes. You make movies, you make films. So yes. if, you, if you get something wrong, if millions and millions of people are not, are getting your message from your film wrong, or they're getting the message from my book wrong, then there is a problem with the way that I wrote it. I didn't communicate it properly. I didn't write it properly. Okay, so if someone is going to have such a profound message, then, then why is it communicated poorly? Uh, the other thing I want to get to is um, what you're saying about the, the scientific claims that Armin, I, I, and I agree with Armin, that I think are very vague. In some cases, they're not just vague. <clears throat> the problem is that the Quran is actually wrong wrong, overtly wrong about some of its scientific claims. So some of the claims it has about embryology, where it doesn't even mention the egg, right? It's, it's, it's wrong about those. The other claim about the beginning, you know, you talked about the Big Bang, is uh, the, from the same surah, 21, right? And if you look at verse 30, it says that, you know, uh, that God, uh, the heavens and earth were once a joint entity, and then we separated them and made from water every living thing, right? Yes. Now, this is actually objectively wrong because the heavens and the earth were not ever a joint entity. The, earth, the, heaven, the universe started 13.8 billion years ago. The earth only began about five, like maybe five billion, four and a half, five billion years ago. Um, and, but uh, everything but, was from the gas. Everything was from the gas. I, I'm, I'm sure it was from the gas. The but beginning. It wasn't, beginning. The earth, everything the earth, was in one joint gas and then everything started from no there. but the heaven and the earth the universe and the earth there's no comparison the earth is a minuscule minuscule it's not even as much as a grain of sand as to the earth com compared to the way that the earth is to the the universe yeah. with hundreds of billions of galaxies so there are actual errors in it the other thing is that the system that you're proposing to fix the jungle right is a system that is so apparently so poorly communicated that the vast majority of people in the world, the vast majority of Muslims who have read the book and the book is there, they have gotten it wrong. So how effective is that mode of communication? How are you going to implement a system as a solution that is misunderstood and misinterpreted by so many so easily? It wasn't, it was not understood, not misunderstood. It was not understood, you know. Uh, uh, God waited billions of years, okay. Uh, he created us uh, like animals, uh, animals of the jungle, in the jungle. And he started to guide us to become human and live in a human uh, uh, world. But for that, he waited, he sent, uh, sent us uh, prophets one by one, first to teach us that God exists, and then with the small amount of, uh, you know, uh, uh, what is it, messages, you know, don't do this, don't do that, and then slowly, slowly to complete it by uh, Islam. And uh, everything uh, he left, that's why we say Islam is the final message of God, because uh, the complete one, because everything is there. But... It was too early for people to understand it because uh, because of lack of knowledge. But he left he left the the, the message there so that we can find it today. Fourteen hundred years ago was too early for people to understand it. 
But today we have started to understand it. Okay, not all of us, but few of us, we have started to understand it, and we are going to explain it to for the people, and then we are going to to you know spread it. So does, let's let's. Does it uh, let's, matter that uh, God is? When you say that it doesn't matter if God exists or not, if you want people to understand the message, are you going to present it as a political thing? Are you going to present it as a religious message from God? How are you going to present it? A 1,400-year-old message. And by the way, I, I, there are, as I said, there are countless scientific errors in the Quran. How are you going to show that uh, now that we know about science, that we know what's true and what's not, Mm -hmm. um, and where the Quran and the Bible and all of these books contradict it, all these archaic ideas that they had, how, how are you going to convince people that that was the right message and the current scientific reality we have is wrong? Because yeah, but, they, uh, they are errors yes, in the Quran. Uh, yes, the thing is that, as I said uh, from the beginning, uh, my most uh, concern is to see if Islam has the, the right message to help us today, okay? And those uh, scientific facts is a different subject. I can answer one of them, for example. You can tell me one of them, I can answer it, okay? So that you think, you don't think that I don't know the answer, all right? Mm -hmm. For example, give me an ex uh, 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 example that uh, which one is controlled. Okay, so uh, Surah 86 verses 5 through 7 says that, um, Lo, we created man from a fluid that was ejected mm -hmm. that comes from between the backbone and the ribs. So um, we know that semen and sperm do not come from between the backbone and the ribs because that would mean they were made in the chest. So it completely gets this wrong, you know, and neither. So, so again, Surah 86, five, verse 5 and 7. So let's do that for the example, as an example to the audience so they can kind of understand what I'm talking about, an objective scientific error. Yeah, but uh, uh, this one, I uh, don't know the, the scientific uh, fact of this. Uh, well, I, I'll, 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 tell you, yes. I'll tell you the scientific thing. So this is, I'll, I'll read it out exactly for you. Okay, so Surah 86, uh, 5 through 7. It says, so let man observe from what he was created. He was created yes. from a fluid ejected, emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. Now, there's a fluid that is created from between the backbone and the ribs. What is between your backbone and what's between your ribs? Your lungs, your heart, right? Your esophagus, your trachea. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a pathologist, so I don't want to get into too much detail. But what's not there, okay, is the, the testes. What's not there is anything that creates a semen, whether it's Cowper's gland or vast, you know, the, the other uh, components that, that contribute to it, the prostate and so on. Uh, those are much, much lower. This is objectively and anatomically wrong. This is in contradiction to even what the scientists knew at the time, like Aristotle and Way Galen. before, ancient Egyptians knew this. Yeah, so so this is objectively wrong. So how how is... Now, if you are talking about a perfect book and you want to convince people that this is the word of God or this is a divine word and they knew all of the science from long ago... Here it's getting a basic anatomic fact wrong. So that's one example, for instance. And there are many others, but... Yeah, but uh, I, I'm not an uh, expert in that, uh, you know, uh, field, uh, medicine, medical field that mm -hmm. I can explain. Wait, what, what, expert, what field are you expert in? I'm expert in uh, politics and uh, economy. I can, mm -hmm. that's why I'm explaining no. for you. But, 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 but you, you don't no, have sorry, to. Sir, no, no, Ali, sorry. Let me, uh, let me speak now, uh, please. Um, you are, you were not an expert in, you know, modern physics either, but you will feel, you felt comfortable to. Yeah, that much I know. Yeah, that much oh, I know. You are an expert that in that? No, that much I know. That, okay. that so what, what I know that I know the pulsing right. theory. I know the right. uh, expansion so theory. What, Okay. What Ali is telling you is is basic biology. Like this is not an expert. Um, you don't need, like go look into this. This is not something that you need to be an expert in. Mm -hmm. Is is such a basic level of biology when it comes if you want to look into it. And the Quran could not have gotten it any more wrong than, than that. I do want to mention something because I I would I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I don't respond to this because you mentioned that Muhammad maybe helped us back. We think that maybe Muhammad helped us back then but he's not useful today. That is not at all what I think. I hope that's, I also don't think that's what Ali thinks. Muhammad never helped, uh, was never useful to any society. 
Muhammad was a warmongering, slave-owning child rapist uh, that is not just a was not just a criminal. I mean, as as he is described by Muslims, I'm not talking about wh whoever the character was based on. Uh, the historic Muhammad, I have no idea about him, but the Muhammad of described by Muslims um, is a which Muslim is all of them is no, and no, was all of them are describing like that. no. All okay, well, then you can make your own personal fantasy Muhammad, and he could be a good boy. But the Mus the Mu the Muhammad of most Muslims, based on the Hadith and Sunnah, and both Shia and Sunni Muslims, is a criminal, not just by the standards of our time, okay, can you but give me an by example? a standard example. Oh yeah, sure. Um, he raped Aisha. Okay, so How about you, you were there. Yeah, let me see. You were there. Hmm? He, were you there that he raped Aisha? Um, well, according to a, every um, authentic, who? according to whom? I'm, I'm trying to finish a sentence. Yeah, according to whom you said, according Bukhari? to Bukhari, and also Bukhari is uh, a liar. Bukhari well, is see, a liar, like you don't let me finish, but also mm -hmm. Shia sources, also Shia sources. Which one is that? Well, I mean, here, I could look up the Shia source. I know that it's also based on the Shia sources. Yeah, you know, actually, uh, uh, Armin, you are from Iran yourself, okay? You know that these mullahs are a bunch of mafia liars. All okay? right, I know, I, know, I know what you're going to say. They, so you they, don't trust they, the create, they create They create hadith every day. They go to uh, this yep. called Mambar, you know yourself. I know that. They, I... they open their mouth because they make money. So they open their mouth and they say a lot of rubbish. So yes, are you going to put your source on rubbish? Do you really think I trust these sources? I think what you think about so you them... Don't trust. I, can, so I, you, can I answer your question, yes, yes. please? Yes, yes, yes. What yes. you think about the Hadith, I think okay. that about all of Islam. Okay. I think that about the Quran as well. You want to... Okay. I don't know where your line is. Different Muslims have different lines. Um, are you a Quranist? Are you going to just stop at the no, Quran? I'm not Quranist. No, I'm not Quranist. Okay. So if you if you are going to go beyond the Quran, then you are opening the door to the Hadith. If you want to open the door to the Hadith, then you have or, or you're opening to the door for me to be able to shed on Prophet Muhammad in so many different ways. Um, I, I don't know how much time do you have, right? If you want to remain a Quranist and you, if you want to ignore the Hadith and be like, oh, just the Quran, well, the Quran is enough for me to be able okay. to shed Islam 24 7. No, no, let me let me finish. But if yes. you open the door to Hadith, then you either have your own arbitrary standards that which Hadith you pick or which, which ones you don't pick, um, but or oh, or you're opening the door to the hadith that most major mass majority of Shias are Sunni accept, and if you do that, then Muhammad is a warmongering, child raping, slave owning um, criminal. But go on, okay. sorry. Now I tell you that the source is Quran because every Muslim believes that Quran is hmm. uncorrupted. Okay, and Bukhari that you are saying he was. The I didn't biggest, say that's one yeah. of them. No, I said. Bukhari was one of the biggest hadith rejecter. He said that he co collected 600,000 hadiths and he accepted just 7,500 of them. Okay. And amount when something is corrupted, okay, Quran says that look at the source. If it doesn't match the source, okay, then reject it because it is not from Allah. Okay. We have a chapter called Munafiqun. Quran says that people were coming to Prophet Muhammad and saying that we believe in you. But when they went out, of, uh, out, they were saying things that Prophet Muhammad didn't say or didn't do. So that's why Quran tells us to check, match it with Quran. If it contradicts oh, yeah. Quran, if contradict Quran, then it is uh, great, uh, false. Great, great. The then the Hadith is valid then because the Quran itself accepts child rape. The Quran itself accepts wife beating. Mm -hmm. The Quran no, itself... Let me see wife no, beating. no, hold on. The Quran child, is... Child, no, let me finish. Let me finish. Be, no, like no, no, no. The be, Quran... Be, it, be, let, let me finish, yeah. please. We'll get yes, to that. Let, me, let Armin finish what he's saying yeah. and then we'll... Yes. The ahead. Quran itself accepts... Uh, child rape, the Quran itself accepts wife beating, the Quran itself accepts taking uh, women as slaves in battle, uh, the Quran itself accepts torture of, for people who do not believe in the book, the, tor the Quran itself 
does not contradict a lot of the hadith of Bukhari or hadith of Kaf, with the Shias accept, which is Kafi. But I, I'm also wanna, I also want to know, given that um, you are you pick your own hadith uh, um, based on what suits you, um, then 99% of everything that we know about Muhammad will go out, um, you know, will be completely like if you do not accept uh, either coffee from Shias or Bukhari from Sunnis, then you take you can know anything about Muhammad, Muhammad's life, not, you know, almost everything that we know about what Muhammad said, did, how he lived, come from these sources that you now are rejecting. Um, it's, and it's also very interesting that you think that the hadiths are corrupted and people lie uh, and people make up all these, um, you know, things that are based on their own political needs and whatever is convenient for them. But you do not see how um, how ironic it is that you don't think that that could have also been happening about the Quran itself. So, okay. yeah, go on. Go, go ahead, Mr. Okay, now... Uh... This uh, child rape. Uh, first of all, uh, wife beating. Okay, where is it says in Quran that you have to you have right to beat your wife? Can you? Give oh, me so, the... oh, sorry, sorry. It doesn't say that you have the right to beat your wife. It says that you should beat your wife. In okay. fact, uh, it, it's, uh, in fact, it's not, it, it tells you that you don't have the right not to beat your wife. It's actually okay. worse than having the right to all beat right. your wife. Can no, you I'll give me the do. verse? Can, can you, you give me the verse? I'll, no, I'll, let me see, please. No, let I'll me leave. see. Okay. Give me the verse, please. Give me the verse. I you will. Don't, you, so I okay. will do that. Uh, the, the verse is uh, Surah four, verse thirty-four. So, Armin, let me just. Um, I'll, okay. I'll just go through this. Uh, uh, Surah four, uh, verse 30, 34. Okay. Let Ali read it, please. Ali, okay. read it. Yes. Ali. Ali yeah, so let, for the audience, first about hold on. Yes. Uh, let for Ali the read. audience, let me read it first, and then we can discuss it. Okay. So it says this. This is the verse. This is a translation by Sahih International. Okay. Um, men are in charge of women by right of what Allah has given one over the other and what mm -hmm. they spend for maintenance from their wealth. So righteous women are devoutly obedient, guarding in the husband's absence what Allah would have them guard. But those wives from whom you fear arrogance, first advise them, then if they persist, forsake them in bed, and finally strike them. But okay. if they obey you, once more, seek no means against them. Indeed, Allah is ever exalted and grand. All right. All right. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> if I say, uh, uh, if you, are, uh, you know, I'm in a basket game, and then I come out, you ask me, how was it? I say, it was hot. Can you translate that into Persian? Can you trans translate? No. Oh, so, you're getting you have to, no, let me see. Yeah, no, no, no. You, ha you have to interpret it because in Persian, we don't have a uh, basket game was hot. Okay. Let me now tell you. All right, the strike, okay, in verse 43, 5, strike is ignore, okay? Shall we uh, utterly ignore you because you are a wanton fault? Uh, in Quran, verse 4, 101, strike is travel, okay? And when you travel through the land, there is no blame upon you for uh, shorting the prayer. So there are several verses. Uh, Quran has, let me see, let me tell you, Quran says itself that uh, it is with precise verses and unspecific verses, okay? Yeah, those yes, who are, 3 verse yes, 7 that talks about yes, allegorical the, yes, yes, yes. Those whose heart is corrupted, they interpret the, the uh, uh, unspecific verses on their own, uh, you know, interest, and they say we follow it. Despite the, the meaning of these verses is only known by Allah and those firm in knowledge, okay? Right, so. So, so this uh, strike, even in Persian uh, Quran uh, in, uh, interpretation, or, uh, sorry, uh, uh, translation, it says leave her, okay, in Persian mm -hmm. one. And the next verse of that, verse 430, uh, 434, the next verse say, and if you, 35, this is 35, and if you fear uh, dissension between the two, okay, why? Because they left each other, okay? Because Allah said, leave her, okay? And send an authority, uh, another, uh, sorry, uh, arbitrator from his people and uh, arbitrator from her people. 
if they both desire reconciliation, okay? I don't uh, continue with that because Quran want to put them, bring them back together because they separated. I, okay? I, I understand. So this, so this is a this common is, argument. This is a, yeah, this is a wrong interpretation by, um, you know, a bunch of backward uh, people who, uh, extremists who want to beat their wives, who hate their wives, okay? No, you know? actually, but anyway, no that's actually the Quran. Let, can you, Ali, can you respond? Okay, okay, you, yeah. okay, okay. You can follow, Ali, uh, Armin, you can follow that Quran, okay, or reject it, but I don't follow that Quran. I follow this interpretation that you have to No, use. luckily but, for me, okay. luckily for me, I don't have to follow any Quran. Okay, okay but, can I, can I, Ali, go on. Ali, go, okay, let now, Ali, Ali let, now, please let Ali respond to this. Thank okay, you. So, so here's the thing, Mishpat. You're talking about, this is a very common argument that the word, yes. you know, the root word, Daraba, and, you know, Wadrabu, Anhu, like the, those, the actual word about beat your wife is misinterpreted and it's mistranslated. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about, right, some of the things and let's talk about the details of um, uh, where no, this word I, I, Ali, okay, Ali, yeah. let me see. No, can you please uh, let Ali uh, respond? No, no, to I want to make... No, no, yes. no, I want to, I, as I said that, I told you from the beginning, this conversation will not lead anywhere because you say something, I say something else, you don't accept, and I don't accept. I understand. Okay? We're, we're so, only so losing it. No, 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 no. I but you made the... the you I made a claim. You need to hear the response, please. Okay. So yes. you made the claim. You, you know, please we hear the response you out on the on the word. So we're only going to take this. I'm using this. We're not going to go through the entire Quran and look at all yeah. these things. I'm right. just going to give you, and I want to give our audience an example of the okay. two sides of this issue. So usually the not what the wrong the, side and the right yeah, side. the claims that you're making, right? These are usually made by people who are generally non-Arabic speaking. There are very few Arabic speaking scholars who make this claim. So. I'm going to talk about the root word of this, right, is daraba, right? Okay. Daraba. I know. The claim in the Quran yeah. in Surah 434 let, is... Just, Ali, just one second. Let Ali, please just let Ali just respond to this because if you, um, I know I do this too and I should stop, but if you um, speak at the same time, people are not going to hear what Ali is going to say right now. Right. But go on. Right. So, so what, what it is is that... Yeah, so the, the root word is daraba. The claim in the Quran, the verse in the Quran uh, says... And Adrubuhunna is what they translate as beat them. Now, as you said, some scholars say that, you know, it means turn away from them or, you know, in even some cases it says, you know, have sex with them, which is strange. But there are many different ways that people say this is translation. Now, you're talking about the way that this word is used in other verses. Okay, so in Surah 4, verse 101, the word daraba is used in the form of darabtum. That means to go forth. In Surah 3, verse 156, it's used as uh, darabu, which means to travel from. In verse 2, uh, Surah, 61, uh, Surah 2, verse 61, it's used as wadurabat, right, which means to be humiliated. So you're right, there's many different ways it's done. Now let's take, and this is what I explained in my book as well, let's take the word hit, okay? Hit, hit means to hit something. But in English, for instance, we can say hit the road. What does it mean to hit the road? It doesn't mean to literally hit the road. It means to travel, to go on a journey. You know, when you say hit the lights, can you hit the lights for me? That doesn't mean you go and hit the lights. It means that you turn, that on. You turn on the lights, okay? Um, so same thing with strike. When you strike a deal, you're not hitting anything. You're striking a deal. That means that you're, I mean, so there are colloquialisms, striking a balance, striking up a conversation. Now, because the word strike means hit, does that mean that when you're striking a conversation, with a woman, does that mean you're hitting the woman? No, because it's the direct object of the word that determines it. So wadrubu hunna literally means strike the woman. It means if it said to go forth or to separate them, it would be wadrubu anhunna. It would be a whole different phrase. Okay, so the thing is, you know, you hear this, that you hear from people who don't uh, know the Arabic roots of this, mm -hmm. right, and they try to. Um, say that, okay, this is mis misinterpreted, okay, it's a different word, it's being used in a different way, and we should use this other translation from somewhere else, you know, that when you say strike up a conversation, then that, that, so when you, that means strike up a conversation with a woman. It absolutely doesn't mean that. This clearly no. means hit the woman. And this is why, as Ali mentioned, Arab-speaking Muslims see this as a very embarrassing defense of this verse, but by non-Arab speaking Muslims. Every single Arabic speaking person knows exactly that this 
obviously means strike striking your hitting your wife beating your wife okay and right. the, 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 hold on let me just say something else and the interesting thing is that for 1400 years both arabic and non-arab islamic scholars every single one of them commentary and explanation of this verse was with the understanding that this means hitting only only after modern uh, ethics evolved to a place where we realized that yeah maybe beating your wife is not a good idea only after that we see muslims all of a sudden coming c trying to come up with excuses for why this might mean something else last almost years. Yeah, in the last yeah. 100 years before the, the last 100 years, years everybody, everybody knew what this knew everybody what knew what this meant uh, now can i respond please Yes, yeah. sure. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Prophet Muhammad came to solve problems. Okay. One of the problems was that uh, Arabs, Bedouins, they were burying their daughters alive. Okay. Another problem was that no woman on this planet had zero rights. Okay. Even in Arabia, they didn't even have the right to leave. Okay. So he saved millions of girls from being buried alive. Even today, in 21st century, for, for the past 20 years, 10 million girls have been buried alive or been killed before uh, birth in India, okay? And I had have, uh, I have a debate with uh, Mr. Haris Sultan, okay? He was rejecting, no, no, such things doesn't happen. I'm going to uh, publish it soon. Uh, I even found a video on YouTube uh, that two men, they were burying a little girl alive that they were mm -hmm. caught by police, okay? No, you're so wrong even, about back then. Back then, no, that no. didn't happen as much. If you look at Khadija... So, okay, okay, time. okay, let me see. No, 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 yeah. let me see. You say it didn't happen much, okay? But it happened, okay? So you, you just take a... Uh, you know, in India, in India, that it happens even today, 10 million girls have been killed before or after, uh, Indira Gandhi was their leader many, many years. It doesn't, that doesn't uh, prove anything, okay? Women had no any rights even in the Western countries 100 years ago. They didn't inherit anything, okay? But women of uh, 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 1400 years ago, they got equal right in many places whenever it is front of God. Punishment or, uh, or reward, okay? They are absolutely equal front of God. Just when it comes front of people, they got 50%, not five, not 10, 50% right, okay? But now uh, this uh, verse about beating, you see, uh, even today I heard that 1,000 women were killed, I think, in Mexico, just in Mexico during lockdown, okay? We have, yes, we have home violence, okay? We have home, uh, this domestic violence everywhere and we have had it always, okay? So. In the past, also we had it. Arab Bedouins they look at their wives like a slave, like, like not a human being. They didn't have any rights, so they were beating their wives right away without any problem. So if Allah was in favor of beating, just wait, uh, army. Yeah. If Allah was in favor of beating, okay, Allah didn't say that how to ride your camel because that wasn't a problem. They knew how to ride the camel. You see. So why Allah started to talk about this in first place and then look at this. First, he tried to say, you know, when you say that first uh, talk to them, advise them and then separate. You know, I also sometimes everybody get some problem with why, okay, home, okay. After one hour, one day, you come down, okay. So it shows that he tried to seize down, to, to you know, to cool down the problem because he didn't want... Otherwise, they would beat right away. Even today, they right away, they beat their wives. Okay, so, so Allah, you're saying that Islam is a solution to the jungle of today with this domestic violence issue, right? I want every, to ask every, you uh, every problem. Okay, I want to ask you a question, just a really quick question, because I know Armin has to say something. So I'm gonna that you have on one hand, you have a law, you have laws in Sweden where you live okay. that okay. say that domestic violence will put you in jail. If it's reported, then you are okay. going to get into serious trouble. Then you have another law where it says that if you fear a, a disobedience from your wife, not if she disobeys, but if you just fear it, then okay. you can beat her, okay? And supposedly- No, you can, not Ali, not can, should. Sorry. You should, not, yeah. yeah. As, a, as, as a third, like, so you're allowed to do that. Now, which of these 
is a better solution. Now, if you have, if you're using proposing Islam as a solution, right, to all of these uh, this jungle, and they see a book that is even ambiguous about something like this, right, is that a better solution for the jungle okay. than a simple law that says you shouldn't do it? And the, sorry, one more thing. Second thing that you were saying about you know the women being buried alive. Yes, of course, there, there were girls that used to do that, but. But, uh, but the first wife that Muhammad had and many of the other wives that he had, I mean, these were actually liberated women who came from their own wealth. Okay, Khadija himself, she was older than him. She proposed to him. She was his boss. She was his financial supporter. She was his employer, right? And she's the one who encouraged him the whole time. And he was completely monogamous when he was with her. He didn't take another wife until she died. Uh, yes. She was a landowner. She was a divorcee. Yes. She wasn't a virgin at all. You know, he, the first woman yes. that he was with, he was a virgin. So it, it was completely in reverse. Um, th there's so what kind of system is this that you're trying to fix, and what's the best way to do it? Can I uh, just quickly say something before you respond? Yeah. Really, one yes. sentence. I just want to say I just want to note our audience to notice how we went from oh there is no wife beating to all of a sudden okay there is wife beating, but maybe wife beating is not that bad compared to other bad. Problem, Who said right? that? I didn't say that. No, okay. I'm just, no, I'm just saying, I'm not saying you're saying that, but it seems like we're moving in that direction. I'm no, just, no. One, okay. I just wanted people to notice that. Okay. All right. Okay. I, I said that uh, if Allah wanted that people beat their wives, he wouldn't pick it up at all because if he was in favor of that, he wouldn't talk about it that, okay, try to uh, advise them and then separate your bed with them. Okay. And the third option is that uh, you, you so, leave them. Okay. Exactly what and I then, said. Then. And, then, and then look at me. Let, let me see. That, uh, next next verse, he says that if they, you fear that they separate, uh, somebody from her family, somebody from his family, try to bring them together. Okay. So uh, uh, use. I, I have to tell you that, uh, uh, Mr. Ali, there are verses that uh, we don't need them today, like. Uh, slavery verses they were they belong to 1400 years ago and there are verses that even today we can use them but we don't need them in the real islamic war okay uh, uh prophet muhammad peace be upon him he himself abrogated verses after a few weeks okay they were old for after a few few weeks all right so how come some of the verses i have this discussion with fellow muslim as well how come uh, some verses that came 1400 years ago can be uh, valid even today, despite uh, we don't like, like, as I said, slavery verses. Okay. They were not, it wasn't possible to uh, demolish, uh, sorry, abolish those, uh, those, uh, the slavery, because like today, we cannot, we cannot get rid of the fossil fuel, despite we know that it, it is bad for our, our planet, it is bad for our health. Okay. But you said but he abolished it, the burying of girls alive. So if you could abolish burying of girls alive, why not? Yes, yes. Slavery? No, no, listen to me, uh, Mr. Ali. Uh, they were stoning him. They were going to kill him. So it was, they should, you know, like Jesus, peace be upon him. Okay. Jesus, peace be upon him. He was passing and he saw that uh, they were going to stone a, a woman, adulterer. Okay. They asked him what to do. He did it. It was against every principle of God. Okay. He didn't say that. What are you doing? Are you crazy? No, he didn't say that. He said, the one who has no sin to the first stone, because he knew that these people don't understand. So he put a condition, okay, for them so that they cannot pass that condition. All right. So th that was a, a way of, you know, uh, trying to like alcohol, alcohol uh, is haram. But first he said that uh, when you, you have drunk alcohol, you cannot uh, start to pray, you know, so it, uh, verses came slowly, slowly, that some of the verses were preparing people for the next verse, okay? So it was too early for people of the past. But anyway, this is very, very long, uh, you know, discussion. As I said from the beginning, let's talk about our problems today. If Islam has the solution for those problems today we have, okay, then we can uh, uh, adopt Islam, we can follow Islam. If it doesn't have, then, okay, it was... Uh, the past, it was history, and we don't need to follow it anymore. Okay. okay. Well, who do you personally on. believe? But uh, before we go on, because you, we're going to propose that Islam is a solution for the problems yes. of today. Uh, yes. Who do you personally uh, believe uh, wrote the Quran? Do you think it came from God and it's divine and perfect? Or do you think it was written by Muhammad? 
definitely I <clears throat> believe that it was from uh, God and he gave it to Muhammad, peace be upon him, and then <clears throat> uh, people wrote it. They, they, uh, they memorized it and then uh, some of them, they were uh, writing it at, it at the same time, but later they put them together and be, uh, it became Quran because okay. uh, <clears throat> many of, we call it Hafiz, yeah? those who memorized Quran, uh, in a battle, many of them were killed, and they were uh, afraid that uh, you know uh, mm -hmm. they lose everything. So they started to um, uh, to gather okay. them and put them in one Quran. So, <clears throat> okay, so, uh, so that's your as I said, as I said, I don't believe that an illiterate man fourteen hundred years ago could write these. Uh, yeah, perfect yeah. so we we got that from. Okay. Well, he did so it. Why he do you think that it to write it? Yeah. Okay. How do, how do we start with no? Uh, so while you were away, Armin, I just asked. I, I wanted to be clear on what much. I know. I have the audio when oh. I go with my. Book. Okay. Okay. Great. So I had to. Um, so let's beginning this part of the argument that you want to make, right? Okay. How do you think? that Islam, a, you know, this is a book, we've talked about some of the scientific and biological and anatomic errors in the Quran. Um, okay. You know, how do you think that this book uh, and the rules in it are going to be a better solution for the jungle than the laws that you have in a place like Sweden, where you have okay. religious freedom, you've got low crime rates, you've got women's okay. rights, you've got mm -hmm. gay rights, everybody, you have your right to live as a Muslim, everybody has a right okay. to live as an atheist. Yes. Um, so how do you think that this book helps uh, better than the system that you have? Let's do a comparison. Uh, okay, somebody uh, writing you something. Okay, it went back. Hello? I don't hear you. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I was yeah. muted. Uh, we'll get to the patron questions later. Let's, let's go with this. So how, yeah. how do you uh, think yes. that the, Islam yes. provides a better solution? Yeah, yeah. Than first Sweden? of all, uh, yes, first of all, uh, there is absolutely freedom of uh, belief in Islam, no compulsion okay uh, Quran says many places to Muhammad that you are just the warner okay uh, there if they accept they accept if they don't accept their punishment is upon uh, Allah okay so there is absolute uh, freedom uh, in Islam but uh, the, as I said from the beginning that this uh, the problem God created us uh, uh, like animals but smart enough to to understand uh, and learn his guidance and he tried to guide us out of this jungle we are living to a human world. This jungle, as I said from the beginning, it is a jungle that uh, the richest one, the, the strongest one gets, get the most and the uh, weakest one get nothing or little and has, has to survive by doing every bad deed. So every bad deed, the source of every bad deed is uh, in this jungle, the rules of the jungle. Uh, uh, for example, and the... Uh, Abrahamic religion says that uh, the source of all these bad deeds is the Satan, okay? In Abrahamic religion, is the Satan that fool us to do these bad deeds. But in reality, the Satan is not uh, that angel, falling angel. The reality, Satan, is the system and the jungle, as I told you, okay? Because uh, when uh, farmers of Afghanistan, they produce 90% of the world opium, okay? Because they can sell a kilo of opium for hundreds of dollars and they 100% they sell it, okay? While they cannot sell their potatoes and tomatoes for even 10 cents, perhaps, okay? Maybe they, it get bad, they cannot even sell it. So that's why it guide them, the system guide them to produce opium instead of um, <clears throat> potatoes and tomatoes. So uh, this... This, the, the, the jungle and the rules, we call it, in reality, we call it today capitalism, okay? That gives the, the opportunity to people to gain $110 trillion and they can become richer and richer. And for that, they can create wars, they can uh, uh, make coup d'etat against different uh, democratic governments, like in my country, my home country, Dr. Mossadegh, 1953, he was... Uh, brought down by a coup d'etat of the UK and USA because they were losing uh, interest. And even today in, in USA, they cannot even uh, put gun control. Why? Because uh, the weapon cartels, they lose uh, billions of dollars every year if there is a gun control, okay? So they give, uh, they allow people to have uh, uh, guns 
uh, and they, somebody take a lot of guns and go in Las Vegas, kill 52 people. It was not so long term, time ago. In, in Sweden, we don't have that because people cannot go to the supermarket and buy guns. So uh, this is the, the problem. The, the, the capitalist system is the problem. And Islam uh, uh, tells us that we have to live outside this system. How? We stand towards Mecca and we say, show me the right way. Every day we have to ask, what is the right way? You have to know what is the wrong way. The wrong way is the one which I told you, okay? The way which uh, make uh, the way which uh, make us to do all bad deeds, prostitution, drugs, um, every bad deeds. So the right way is a way that none of this happens. So why these things happens? Because a prostitute can sell her body and get money for survival. Okay, uh, a thief can steal to survive. Okay, so the right way is a way that you cannot. If you sell your body, there is no money that you can sell your body. Money doesn't exist that you go and steal, for example, a, a diamond. You cannot sell it, okay? You cannot rob a bank because money doesn't exist that you gather it in, in that, okay? Billionaires cannot become, you know, they don't make coup d'etat here. They're like mullahs of Iran, okay? They, they were making, you know, they were preaching for one dollar a night. Uh, Armin knows that. Now they are, the leader is 200 billion dollars rich. Why they kill people? Millions of people they have killed. They have destroyed the uh, entire Middle East. Why? Because they can become billionaires. We need a system that they, in Sweden, in Sweden that you mentioned, we have a system that you cannot become very rich, but still we have problems. Still we, uh, you can sell drugs and you get rich. So the problem exists, but it is because the, the system make it, you know, it is not pure capitalism, okay? Mm -hmm. I can tell you, it's not pure capitalism. It's more human, it's more human uh, system than um, okay. USA than okay. in Africa. Yes. Ar Armin, go ahead. Okay, so I'm good. you mentioned that uh, Islam is very accept tolerant, accepting other people. Not, there's no force or there's tolerance of people having believing in other religions mm -hmm. or not believing in any religion. I just want to quickly go through something. And I didn't interrupt you, so I would be appreciated if, yes. I, if I go through this. You don't interrupt me as well. All right. So, um, Quran 328, let not let not the believers take disbelievers for their friends in preference to believers. Quran 332, Allah loveth not, Allah doesn't love the uh, disbelievers. 356, as for those who disbelieve, I shall chastise them with a heavy chastisement in the world and here in the hereafter, and they will have no helpers. Uh, Quran 385, who, uh, whoso seeketh a religion other than the, other than Islam, it will not be accepted from him. He will uh, he will be a loser in the hereafter. Uh, 491, take them and kill them wherever you find them. Against such, uh, we have given you clear warrant. 4101, the disbelievers are an open enemy to you. 4144, choose not the disbelievers for your friends in place of believers. Would you give Allah a clear warrant against you? 551, take not the Jews and the Christians for your friends. He among you who's taken them for friend is, is one of them. 839, fight them until persecution is no more and, and religion is for Allah. Nine five slay the idolaters wherever you find them and take them and take them captive and besiege them and prepare for them each ambush. Nine twenty nine fight against such of those who have been given the scripture as um, as belief not in Allah. This keeps going by the way. I'm not even halfway through, so I'm not going to finish it. But it keeps getting worse and worse. Right. Never be a helper to disbelievers. God doesn't love the disbelievers. Some of them are repeating. But anyways, go on. Can I, can I respond to you? First of all, <clears throat> uh, we should keep uh, in, in our conversation, which I mentioned. Secondly, you, uh, like, uh, I'm sorry, I tell you, Armin, like ISIS and uh, extremists, you interpret it in, in, in a wrong way. It doesn't say disbeliever. It's a kafir, okay? And now I'll read you for, for, for you a verse, okay, to understand who is kafir. Verse... 1683 okay they recognize the favor of allah okay then they deny it okay so who is denying it disbelievers all right yes then they deny it. 
and most of them are kafir. It doesn't say disbeliever. Most of disbeliever cannot be disbeliever. Most of them are kafir. Kuf is oppression, okay? And those, many of those verses you, you read is about kafirs who were attacking Muslims. And the history of Islam shows that uh, during the 10 years uh, ceasefire, Muslims were uh, talking to the disbelievers, trying to invite them, okay? So you were mixing a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, verses together, okay? And you nope. were misinterpreting the kafir with the disbelievers. I read for you a verse that Kof, uh, denying Allah, that Allah says many places, I guide you to the, to the light and take you out of darkness. Darkness is the way we are living with bad deeds. So denying good deeds and going after bad deeds is, is, uh, is Kof, because it is oppression against yourself, against others. And that's, let me tell you, in this world, you have right to believe, or Allah says that, if we wanted to create the Muslims, Muhammad, we wouldn't send you. We would create the Muslims, but we created them with free will, okay? So uh, that, that he will punish you if you disbelieve it's next life, not in this life. In this life, uh, Armin, you are free to believe whatever you want, okay? As long as you are not going to harm me or harm Ali or harm anyone else, okay? Uh, anyway, we were talking, uh, you again. I'm sorry, but you're you wrong. Cha you're, you changed it. You again changed cha cha No, you again I was responding to something you yes. said. I was yes, responding okay. to something you said, and All you right, were wrong. Kafir, uh, uh, the Quran has made it very clear, and the Arab language also makes it very clear. Kafir is simply somebody who doesn't believe in Allah, and also, no, um, the Quran also makes it very clear. Uh, it's not talking about specific people at a specific time. It doesn't refer to these people as the, the specific people that were in a specific battle. Uh, Quran makes it very clear that this is this is referring to people because of their kuf, because of their disbelief in God. And, the, and it's a disbelief in God that makes them worthy of all these uh, condemnations. Uh, okay, okay, you mean war, that, okay, okay, I mean, you mean that when Muhammad occupied Mecca, he killed everybody? He didn't kill even Abu Sufyan, who had killed hundreds oh, of Muslims. Muhammad, when... Yeah, he didn't kill Hind, who killed his uh, uncle. If he was caught, they, if they were caught today, if they were caught oof, today in oof. Sweden, if they were caught today in Sweden, they would be in life, uh, life in prison. Hind and Abu Sufyan, but Muhammad simply forgave everybody. No, nope. everybody who didn't. Nope. Yes, yes. He no, let me tell you everybody. what happened. Okay, Muhammad. Muhammad, uh, when he captured Mecca, first of all, his condition was that everybody accepts Islam. So people had to submit to Islam for them not to be killed. If they did not submit to Islam, he would not accept their surrender. Uh, second of all, he went and that, uh, it's amazing that you bring up the story of ca the capture of Mecca because that's an amazing story of intolerance because Muhammad went and made it clear that nobody has any right to practice any other religion other than Islam once he captured Mecca. And he also destroyed all the idols of all the other people's religion property that did, he did not belong to him he destroyed every single idol in the kaaba itself and also the even blasphemy. after yeah, kaaba, yeah kaaba no hold on. no no sorry 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 i'm responding kaaba to you i'm, I'm to responding to, i'm responding to you just a, just yes. a second please just a okay. second i'm responding to you not only not only did he destroy all the all the idols of people uh, because he wasn't tolerant of people's religion and not only the, the reason why he didn't kill so many people is because they surrendered and submitted to islam he even had a list with him um, that people of uh, people that he wanted to kill anyways, even after submission, uh, which said people that made fun of him, people that made poetry about him, people that had jokes about him, people that he he said that betrayed him. They had a, they had a big list of people that he would not even accept their surrender, and he did kill those people once he captured Kaaba, Micah. So there you go. Anyways, which yes. is a very it's a it's a beautiful uh, story uh, yes. of intolerance, not tolerance. Yes, let me let me see. First of all, Mecca didn't belong to them. It belonged to God. Okay, it belonged to uh, to Allah, and they had built something. Uh, they had occupied that uh, Kaaba, which uh, was built by Ibrahim. Okay, and Kaaba is uh, uh, like you you go now today, occupy a place and build a, in a mosque, mosque something, and then later we reoccupy it and remove it. You cannot say that oh, it is uh, intolerant. Okay. Uh, intolerance. Uh, let's uh, stick to that uh, solution which I uh, described okay. for you. Okay. All right. 
Uh, right, we don't go to, go to this. We don't go to this because, yes, uh, as I said, the, the the source of all problems is uh, uh, is uh, the the system we are uh, we are living in uh, that allows one percent of the world population to gain hundred ten trillion dollars capital, and they don't stop there. They uh, I have heard that they very soon they will uh, get ninety percent of the total capital of the planet if we don't stop them. So, and the hundreds of millions of people down there, they have to do every bad deed to survive. Even we uh, in the middle also, uh, we sometimes have to do, do bad deeds to, uh, to survive, okay? This system guides us to such a bad deed. And uh, <clears throat> Allah says that stand towards Mecca, okay? And say, show me the right way. And in Mecca, what happens when we go? We have two uh, uh, clothes, two white clothes. Um, and the material is decided by, by uh, you know, uh, Islam that it has to be cotton. It doesn't have to be silk or different colors. You cannot even sew it. You cannot have jewelry with you. So it's a, uh, it's a pure picture of equality there. Everybody are equal there in Makya, okay? In Kaaba, Kaaba when we go there. If they all believe in the same, in the message yes, of God. Yes, if they say the same message, they, they are all equal there, okay? okay? And we stand towards that every day and say, show me the right way, okay? So I told you what is the wrong way. The wrong way is the way that uh, uh, we say the source is the Satan, okay? And uh, of course, as I explained for you, the Satan is the system and the, 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 the jungle, okay? And the uh, Quran says that uh, one day we will get rid of the Satan, okay? There is a time that Satan will not exist, uh, <clears throat> you know, the source of all bad deeds. Because Allah says to, to, uh, to Satan that I'm not going to give you time until Biyama, the, the end of the days, okay? So your time is uh, decided, all right? Because Satan asked him to give me time to the, to the end of the days. He said, no, I'm not going to give you to the... So, so Allah will take over hell after that. Uh, uh, Allah will remove the source, okay? But the thing is that, in reality, in reality, it is we who have to get rid of it. That's why, because if Allah was going to do it himself, he would do it thousands of years ago, okay? There is a message also that one day we will have somebody who save us in Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. We have this uh, Messiah who come and will save us from all bad deeds, okay? We have the Mahdi, all right? But interesting is that even Mahdi will not come because he has given us all the all the, uh, the 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 guidance how to get rid of the get out of the, the the jungle if he was going to take us out of the jungle he wouldn't put us on the planet he okay. wouldn't send us the the prophets okay so now it's up to us now it's up to us to understand the message and start to work together okay and get rid of the source okay which i explained yeah. for you yeah. and live I, I, in an equal world Okay, I, I'm not, so here's the thing, let's just go with the original thing that you're saying about about capitalism, uh, the jungle being capitalism and so on. Yes. And you know, our audience has a diverse group, number of views when it comes to capitalism. Some people really like it, some people don't, some people believe in a marriage of capitalism and it's over regulation. Yes. That's fine, that's, a, that's more of a political and economic discussion. But um, do you, I, I don't know if, you, are you familiar with Maryam Namazi, the Iranian, uh, yeah, I've heard her. Yes, yes, she's so, a Muslim. Yeah, right? so Maryam Namazi is a communist. Okay. okay. She's a, she is a, her view or political views are communist. communist. And she has done a lot of, um, uh, made some very good arguments, which actually opened okay. my eyes, about okay. how Islam, one of the reasons that she rejects Islam is because it is overtly capitalistic. Uh, the okay. same kind of tribal and class differences. You, when you talk yeah. about everything being equal in Islam, wait, I wish it's yeah. not, but I wish it was. We're going. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So you are talking about how you know, as Armin said, you came to Mecca. The people who believe, the believers, right? Yeah, okay. you Momineen. Like these are the people who are considered to be all equal. Okay. okay. The, now, there are verses in the Quran, like, you know, if you look at Surah 5, verses 33 and 34, where they, where they say that people who are, uh, uh, you know, except for the innocent, that whoever kills an innocent man. But what is the definition of innocent? Innocent means somebody who's converted to Islam. There's maybe potentially someone who is a person of the book. Does that include in Mecca, was Islam, 
right? Is it going to be tolerant of gay people? Is it going to be tolerant of people who have premarital sex, uh, who date without marriage? Is it going to be tolerant of, uh, you know, of, of people who don't believe, who are apostates, who accepted Islam at one point and then left the religion? Uh, people who openly want to discuss criticisms of, of the Prophet Muhammad, like Armin did right now. Okay. Is it going to be accepting of that? And the answer is no. It is a tribalistic, it is a classist system. It's a classist system that prioritizes those who believe in the message of Muhammad, right? And it disenfranchises those who don't. Even the people of the book, even the Christians and the Jews who do not convert are required to pay a tax called the jizya, right? Which is enforced and you know, they, they, it's enforced with very dire consequences if they don't pay. I mean, these are all the economic rules, the slave trade, the way of how to slave trades, how much women should inherit compared to men. I mean, these are actual economic disparities that Islam, it, it, this is in the Quran, the Quran that you're talking about, and it's not really disputed either, creates between the different classes of people, like men and women, for instance, right? So uh, there is the idea of women being able to go out and work and their word in court being equal to the word of a man. It says, no, one man's witness is equivalent to two women. And the reason for that is given. It's not because of economic or any other reasons. It says, so if one forgets, one of the women forgets, the other can correct her, as if women are more likely to forget than men. So th these are not, it's, what you're talking about, the capitalistic jungle that you're talking about, is actually found throughout the Quran. It's found throughout the Quran. The multiple wives, the, the getting of wives, the economic trade of Zaid bin Harith. Who is Zaid bin Harith? Only two people, contemporaries of Muhammad, are mentioned in the Quran by name. Zaid bin Harith, his adopted son, and number two is Abu Lahab, right? So, so those two, or Abu Jahal, one of those. So Zaid bin Harith was given to Muhammad as a gift by Khadija. His adopted son was given to him as a gift. He was a slave, and then he was freed. So yes, he was freed, but he was traded as a gift. I mean, this is, this is a society that was trading people. Muhammad himself had at least two slave girls, right? He had like one of them was Maria bin Qutb. He had a child with her, even though he didn't marry her because you're allowed to have sex with slaves. Right? If he wanted to abolish, if he abolished, you're saying that he abolished burying girls alive, he abolished like so many bad things, then why didn't he abolish the idea of being able to have sex with slaves, being able to take slaves and captives of war? In Surah 4, verse 24, it says that all married women are forbidden to you, except those that you, uh, your right hands possess, except the ma uh, you know, aymanakum, which means uh, the slave girl. So even if they're married, even if their husbands are alive, as long as they're your prisoners of war, you can have sex without them, with them without marriage because they're slaves. This is overtly, overtly the history of the worst parts of capitalism. I, there, there is no, and this is the point that Mariam Namazi is going to make, and I, th I think you should definitely uh, read her or even speak to her about this, uh, because the solution I think that your country has, that Sweden has, and you know, the, for these is not religious. It's not a religious solution. It's not based on any fourteen hundred year old book or anything like that. But it addresses the problems that uh, that Islamic societies and Islamic law has actually given to societies as well. And then, so then go ahead, and then after that, we'll go to some. Okay, uh, yes, I answered that one. Now, you mentioned again now several different uh, things. And I said I before, first of all, I, I don't want to go again to these uh, long discussions. I said that certain things was too early for Islam to, to abolish 1400 years ago because people were not accepting. I gave you an example. Uh, about fossil fuel today, we know that it is bad, but we cannot get rid of it because it is. We, what we do is we try to higher taxes on petrol, you know, and try to put uh, tools to, for the cars who come to the center where it's more polluted and so on. In Sweden, we do that. But he did it himself. <laughs> he, the prophet, actually, he didn't just ignore it and say we can't get rid of it. He had sex with slaves himself. He had a child, Ibrahim, born to Maria. Right, the Coptic okay. slave girl, and he who, who died when at the age of one, he actually did it himself. He was involved in it. He didn't just say, "Well, 
I'm just having sex with my slave girl because we can't really get rid of it. I mean, that's not what he was saying. He was just, you know, he could have not done it himself and said, we'll get rid of it later. He didn't do that. Uh, you know, uh, as a prophet who has a child with a slave, okay, it, because we have to go to his time to understand that, that uh, he and made a, a, a slave as his, you know, uh, what do you call it? We say it, uh, mother of all uh, all believers. Okay, so uh, he gave a value to a slave. But uh, as I told you, that it was fourteen hundred years ago. Okay, those things. And you you mentioned about uh, uh, freedom of religion. You said that uh, uh, Christians have to pay jizya. Those who are fighting, otherwise. We have so many verses about Christian and Jews that they are uh, they are reciting Allah's names and their their rewards is with Allah. It doesn't mention that they have to pay jazia. Okay. Now uh, uh, you you mentioned this Maryam Nawazi. You said that uh, she said. Sorry, that I have to correct. It does time. mention the Quran specifically mentions in Surah nine verse twenty nine that you have to pay the jizya. Yes, but I say yeah. that there are verses also that is talking about. Uh, Christian and Jews that you have to do the Ahlul Kitab, that you have to be uh, fair with them. You have, they, they recite Allah's name, okay? They stand uh, in obedience of uh, Allah and they will get their rewards, yeah. you know, all if these they things. Convert, so, if they convert, yeah. that means if no, they no, convert. No, they no, no, they say, they, not if they say they do that, okay? They are, it says Christian and Jews. But again, I say that this goes again to this uh, conversation that uh, is, uh, you know, we will Can you answer Ali's solution. question, though? Can you answer Ali's question? Like, if, if Muhammad knew he, it was bad, even if other people were not ready for it, as you claim, why did he have to, like, was he, like, when he was raping his slaves, like, oh, I really don't want to do this, but I have to. This is just the time that we're living in, so I, I really don't want to rape the slave right now, but I just have to. I just can't stop myself because this is the time that we live in. Was that is that the excuse? Uh, you know, Prophet Muhammad married, uh, uh, you know, this uh, that he raped the slave, okay? Uh, there is no mention in Quran, okay? And uh, Oh, he was having consensual no, sex with slaves, huh? No, no, no. Let me see. Oh. Let me see. Wait. Uh, <clears throat> it is uh, Prophet Muhammad after Khadija, it is not even sure how many wives he had, okay? And it is not even sure that he had children with any of them. Okay, so this is not uh, something that you you were there and you saw that he was uh, raping uh, his slave. Okay, the, even that one is not sure. Not every Muslim accept that uh, he had child with that that slave. Okay, so this let's make your own personal Muhammad. So you just no no no, no no yeah yeah no no, 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 your own, no, yeah. no there are many Muslims who don't accept that he had children with any of his wife. Okay, no we're not talking about children. Not, he, has, no, he had sex slaves. No no listen listen to me. He had uh, slaves, but he didn't have, uh, you know, he didn't have sex with his slaves uh, because it is not, uh, we, we, don't, we even don't know that he had nine wives, 11 wives or 30 wives after, after uh, Khadija, okay? So it is not 100% sure that how many wives he had. If he had children, many of children he had was, was from uh, wives who were um, uh, widows, okay? It wasn't his own children. So let's put this uh, aside and talk about the, the solution to our problems, that we can, okay. we can understand it. We can understand it today. I just want to clarify to our audience because they might think that this is all, we're taking this like, um, oh, this might be true, not be, not be true. Even if you want to rely on the Quran itself, the Quran itself makes it clear that if, if you capture women in war, uh, you can, is, is, um, you can, um, take them as sex slaves, right? You could take them as slaves, and uh, so this is based on Quran, not based on the hadith that Mushtaba says, says he doesn't yeah. agree with. You can look up Ma Malakat Aymanakum. I mean, this appears I know. Like, at least four or five times in the Quran. It's yes, like, yes. I, 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 I said that uh, <clears throat> uh, in, in, in today, uh, uh, we cannot stop, abolish uh, uh, the fossil yeah. fuel, so we start to limit it, okay? Uh, he uh, Allah didn't allow them to go and uh, take uh, slaves from Africa. He just limited to 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 uh, what is it to war, and he tried many different ways to to free them for compensation. That's, for that's compensation, not, 
I, no, so that that said that it wasn't just that. in war. It wasn't just in war. You, no, he's, he just told them in war, okay? And he, for many, many reasons, he tried to, to, to free them he, uh, as compensation and different ways, okay? okay. So uh, let's, Let, let's move on let's, to the, the, the yes, argument Yes, let's about move the on to, 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 the, yes, to, to the jungle. As I said, that uh, uh, we, we have to go there as well once in a lifetime, experience that, uh, <clears throat> that equality, okay? We hear it everywhere, everybody put the picture as well that look we are here equal everybody you don't know who is rich who is poor there okay and we say to god we accept it and then we have to reject the opposite of it which is we say satan okay we go and stone the satan seven times then this goes seven times around this symbol of equality and we say we accept it we accept your demand and then we reject it and then Quran explained that Satan is the source of all bad deeds. I explained for you what is the source of all bad deeds, okay? The, the jungles and the, the jungle room. Uh, and then uh, the, another place, Quran also explained that uh, Satan spread poverty among you and lead you to prostitution and all bad deeds, okay? So Satan is the source of all bad deeds. And the opposite of the, 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 the equality, which we experience it after seven times, we go around and we accept it. We have to uh, stone the, the opposite, which is the Satan, which is the, the, the jungle and the jungle roots. And then we have to go and uh, sacrifice a sheep, which is symbolized our uh, loved one. Everything we, you know, is loved in our, in our life. Okay. Uh, which is the, uh, uh, that is, uh, uh, for example, when we can um, uh, get, uh, you know, These are solutions to the jungle, like the, the sacrificing symbols. And I mean, because no, Satan is a no, 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 it is. Are, are it you is, saying is, Satan is capitalism or are yes, you saying Satan say, is a say, real thing? No, I say Satan uh, doesn't exist in that form that is an angel, you know. Sa okay. Satan is, is, uh, is not uh, because I say it's, uh, it is unfair that God spread a virus among us, okay? A virus that is everywhere on this planet. And then uh, God says that if you catch this virus, I will punish you. This is not fair, okay? And almost everybody catch this virus. So the virus is the system, okay? That make us, that the, the Satan is the system that, uh, I give you an example, okay? If we, we uh, imagine that uh, Ali, you, you, you are, grocery owner okay i come to your grocery i don't have money i steal some food uh, and i go because i'm hungry yeah mm. and satan was there and fooled me okay to do that this is what quran says this is what abrahamic religion says that satan fooled me to do that i had this discussion with uh, those christians as well in trinity channel but imagine that you live in a world where money doesn't exist everything is free you can take whatever you want okay and uh, you, I come to grocery that you are working in. Not it's not it doesn't belong to you. Everything belongs to God. Okay, to Allah. Okay. And, and I come everything I need. I take. I say thank you, brother Ali. God bless you. And I go. Okay. Satan didn't exist in the second uh, picture, but in the first picture existed because the money existed. Okay. So if we get rid of this system, that the money system, you know, trading. Okay, and gathering capital. If we get rid of it and share everything with each other, farmers of Afghanistan, they don't produce opium, they produce potatoes and tomatoes. That's right. But, uh, so, mullahs, of Afghan, uh, mullahs of Iran, they don't kill millions of people because- so you, you know, there are people who've tried that before. You know, many times in history, yeah. many societies, even before communism, who've tried to get rid of money, who've tried to get rid of all of this because- but there money, is, money is one of the most useful dis inventions by humans. It's very, very helpful. But, yeah, but. that's a that's okay. Yes, yes, it helps. Yes, it helps. Maybe you, if you have it's a symbol okay. of trust. It's so it, sorry, it, it, much about I, it's a, you no, it would, major point. Economies um, would collapse with if you didn't have money. Yeah, so not only economies, but the thing is that human beings, right? This part of human nature that you know, if you don't do anything in your life, and I work really, really hard. I'm going to want to feel like I'm being uh, someone. I I want to feel some kind of gratitude for it. Okay, so that's a part of human nature. This is the reason that these societies have not worked. The other thing with money is it's a piece of paper 
that has value. I give you a value. Like Yuval Noah Harari says that if I if you give a monkey bun, uh, money, he's not going to care. But if you give a monkey a banana, then he'll be like, okay, this is tangible. But human beings have trust. Money symbolizes trust. I can give you a whole bunch of pieces of paper and you will trust that this has value and you will give me something you know, that you have worked really hard to create. And you'll, there, so that's the capitalism, socialism thing. I just don't, uh, you know, you're saying that Islam can provide some solutions to capitalism. You know, maybe some of them, uh, Christianity can do that too. Uh, this government of Sweden does that much, much better than the Quran does or mm. that the thing does. But no, here, I, here is capitalism. Uh, capitalism. <laughs> that's right. that's 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 good. One basic question. One basic oh, question about this capitalism and all, I mean, it's capitalism it's has brought more people out of misery and poverty than any other system yeah, yeah, ever. Yes, yes. Yes. Let me see, Armin. Yes. Let me uh, yes. explain yes. that one for you. Let me explain that one for you. You are Iranian yourself. Capitalism destroyed your country as well. Okay. If capitalism didn't. No, exist, your religion did. No, no, your religion no, 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 did. Islam no, no. did. No, it's the same thing. It's no, no, it's not. No, Armin, not. Armin, Armin, 1953, we had a democratic prime minister, okay, which was brought down by UK and USA, okay? And after that, a dictator Shah uh, uh, kept people in, in darkness, okay? And we wanted freedom. So we made a revolution. And again, uh, the West, they talked to Ayatollah Khomeini because he was a better alternative during the Cold War, he was a better alternative for the West than the leftists because we had two groups. It has nothing to do groups. with capitalism. If, uh, you, uh, I can explain this one for you, and I have all facts, okay? Uh, oh, and sure. then, uh, and even all these 40 years, they have been helping these uh, mullahs in Iran. I even today, after 40 years, Donald Trump has put the strongest, uh, strongest uh, sanction on Iranian regime, but Europe is fighting against the uh, uh, USA against Trump because they make a lot of money from Iranian regime. Okay, so capitalism destroyed even even. What did any of even, what you said had nothing to do we, we, with we, the merits of okay. capitalism? Okay, You're just randomly talk, telling me about history. It has nothing. To, any it's nothing. All about nothing. Wait, nothing. Jesus Christ, man! Let me speak. Nothing that you said has anything to do whatsoever at all remotely with the merits of capitalism. I, I don't even know if you understand capitalism all about money, all about money. This has nothing to do with how to manage money. Of course, communism is about money and resources. Capitalism, socialism, they're all about how to manage, uh, manage money and resources. Capitalism is just the best method. And nothing that you mentioned has anything to do with why capitalism doesn't work. Ca it's, it's undeniable fact. Every data shows that, that capital, the more free ec economies are, the most, more prosperous they are, the, more, the less misery, the less poverty there is. That we have for for the first time in history seen poverty drop below ten percent, way before anybody predicted. Mostly because of Ch uh, China's changing in policy and dropping communism, and other countries becoming. Do you see the drop of poverty mostly in countries where they decided to make their economies more free, to have more free trade, to have less regulations. The okay. data undeniably shows that, and I don't know. You, you give me like okay. a, a history that I already am aware mm -hmm. of. And you think that denies the, the reality of can I tell you something, Armin? objective data? Wait, go can, can I tell you something? <clears throat> what? You said it, capitalism has dropped poverty. Okay. Can you tell me why poverty exists? Oh my God. But, well, no, poverty... don't say why. why. Can, what? Poverty, listen to me, Mr. Uh, Armin. Poverty exists because capital is, you know, Ali. 1400 years ago said that Ali, 1400 years ago, and today you don't understand it in 21st century. Ali ibn Abu Talib for people who are referring to. Yes, yes. to. Yeah. Ali, no, not me, yeah. not me. Not, not this Ali. Ali. Yes. For, Ali. You are not living 1400 years ago, Ali. That Ali 1400 years ago said, nowhere in the world a capital gather unless hundreds of people get poor beside, okay? Poverty exists because 110 trillion dollars of the total capital of the planet belong to 1% of the world population, okay? So don't tell me that I don't know capitalism, all right? You don't know capitalism. No, so tell me capitalism. Can you explain for me what is capitalism? Well, capitalism, explain. 
Well, okay. So there, there are many. There's many aspects of what makes a uh, what makes a, a society uh, be closer no, to a capitalist. Capitalism. Jesus Christ! I'm talking uh, more closer to a capitalistic <laughs> model. But one of some of the main indicators, okay, is uh, freer freer market, less government involvement, more trade, less regulation, and most more less barriers to uh, people exchanging goods uh, goods and services for money. Right, so that's what we mean when we're talking about a more capitalistic model. Right. And again, capitalism, by the way, doesn't deny uh, no. a lot of people. A lot of people mistake capitalism with anarchism. I just want to clarify that as well, because a lot of people think like, "Oh, you mean like no government at all?" I just want to cl clarify that the, every single capitalist model has a role for government. If the people that don't believe in any government, they are anarchists. They're not capitalists. Or some people call them anarcho-capitalists, but capitalism itself, as a, as a very uh, since the beginning, if you read the Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith, has a very deliberate role for the government, for some regulations, for some management of the market, for adjusting for positive and exter negative externalities, for things that the market is blind to. So there is a role for government. There is a role for regulation. A capitalistic model is only one that it, it re removes every single unnecessary uh, regulation or barrier and the government doesn't get involved in anything that the private market could actually provide it without the help of the government okay that's the capitalist rules you told me okay capitalism is that when someone someone can gather a capital in one place okay and uh, keep a lot of people poor that's capitalism when you can no. gather when you can gather. No, that's gather, not the definition. No, the, the system that you can gather capital is capitalism. Okay. Okay. No, actually, can you you, you want me to read the definition? That the definition is actually close to what I said. That's the actual the dictionary. You explain the rules how it works. All right. You know? No, no, no. Actually, actually, the rules systems. the rules that I give is actually very close to the definition, the dictionary definition. So okay. I was actually correct. The dictionary yeah. definition of capitalism is that an economical and political political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit rather than by the state. Okay. So, yeah, that's, that's okay. That's that's perfect. Uh, that's, so perfect. That's, so the rules, the rules, and the rules uh, and the criteria that's, that's that I mentioned. That's yeah. correct. That's that was more correct than. Uh, no, that was exactly what I said. Uh, Actually, okay. what I said was way more detailed than this. Yes, yes, I told you that. That's better co explanation than the first one. That uh, anyway, no, mine was better. Mine yes, was yes, more detailed. Ca capitalism is when capital is gathered in one place. Okay, and uh, no uh, poverty is gathered. Sorry, no, gathered you're wrong. Place. Okay. Under communism, capital could also be... I don't talk um, about communism. I'm talking about capitalism, okay? Yeah, but I'm telling you why you're wrong, because our models other than capitalism also involves capital being gathered in one place. Which one? Any, well, I mentioned one of them. You said I'm not talking about communism. Like there is no, there is no way where every single economic model will have situations where capital is being controlled or, or, or collected in one area or in one area is more than the other areas. There's good, as long as you have any control over capital, you're going to see capital being. Um, you That's, know, also abandoned. Capitalism. That's also capitalism. Well, there there is no model that you don't have the um, the resources and the capital being. Abandoned, abandoned in one places and being gathered in one place and not in some other places. There is no model that that doesn't happen. So, okay. so based on your definition, every single model of uh, economic and po political control over resources is capitalism. There is nothing else. Okay. Yes, there, there is nothing else today. All right. Okay. Great. But, so the capitalism but, uh, is the only solution. Thank you for yeah, confirming no, that. Uh, I didn't say that capitalism is only capitalism is the problem. Okay. No, because it doesn't exist the solu because the solution doesn't exist it doesn't mean uh, i told you now that uh, one percent of the uh, population of the world they have uh, 110 trillion dollars while hundreds of millions of people living on one dollar a day okay and right. this and is, that, a, this and is that's a jungle true. that's this true is a jungle. and also also the po the world today the population of the world today are live are better off than they were ever in the history of mankind. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's uh, that's I, I don't deny. It, but okay. Uh, great. The, the the problem is there. The problem still is there, and the system, this jungle system, Sweden has tried to make it better. Okay, Ali, that you were mentioning. Sweden has tried to make this gap 
closer, okay? But still there is, uh, we have problems here. What I say is that Quran says that remove this gap totally and everybody live equally, okay? Everybody live, live for God, everybody share everything equally. If it works or not, that's something else, Ali. Ali, you no. said that you okay. said it might not work or it might, uh, I might become lazy or, but first of all, we have to know this, the disease and then let's talk about the, the, the cure. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I want to, okay. So, you know, we've kind of, uh, we've heard the points and I think, you know, both of you have made your arguments. You know, I've, I've, question. Two, two more, yeah, just really quick things before we get to it. First of all, um, just you, you, when you talk about equality, right, do you believe yes. that, uh, the equality should be given to um, uh, gay people. The gay people should be allowed to be married just like everybody else. Do you believe that, uh, you know, the uh, women should have the same, should, they shouldn't just get half the inheritance, but they should get the full thing? Uh, do you, I told you that's 1,400 years ago. I, I, yeah, I know, but you're, you're yes, saying. We are, we, are, we are absolutely equal, okay? You're, you are uh, saying that today, you're saying that the Quran was a, prescient book that it didn't wasn't understood by people then but it is something that really applies and can solve the problems today it was a book for the future i mean those are your words so mm. do you think that muhammad intended for people for for gay people to have the kind of rights that they enjoy in sweden today right that they did not they had the exact opposite back 1400 years ago do you think that he intended that Intended in which way? You mean that, uh, Do you think he intended uh, that no, you have same sex marriage is allowed in Sweden, right? Okay, you have equal yes. rights for gay people, for apostates, for Hindus, for polytheists, yes. for atheists, for yes. anti theists, for yes. everybody in, in mm -hmm. Sweden. You have an equal society where everybody has equal rights. Not perfect, mm -hmm. but equal. So, yes. do you think that uh, the prophet, you know, as you're saying, had a book mm -hmm. for the future that came out 1400 yes. years ago? Do you think that he intended for people, for gay people to have the right to be married and live openly uh, and to pursue happiness and success and wealth just the way that we all do? Do you think the Prophet Muhammad intended that for people in the future when he, uh, in the Quran? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> we, we don't believe that it is, uh... Uh, right, okay, but we we uh, have no right to stop people from no, the way no. they want to think. We, we don't, because, but did the they want to leave. Muhammad, did the, in the 1400 years ago, in the book, in Islam, do you okay. think the Prophet Muhammad, if there were gay people then, or if he came here and he saw all of the people getting gay married today, like, is there, is that something that he accepted then that he believed was the right thing to do or that they should be allowed to do it? According okay. to this, um, yeah, okay, they should they should be allowed to do it, but it is not the right thing, okay? Not that we believe that the uh, gay gay is uh, homosexuality is a good thing, okay? But uh, it is between them and between uh, God, okay? So I think you don't understand Ali's question. We you have don't no right, question. Uh, no, listen, we have no right. We have no right to force anybody to anything. We just can I, invite them. We, the only thing we have right to do is to invite them and okay. uh, tell them that it is uh, not correct. And this came right. from. Are, are, uh, you you don't understand. Now, now, they now let to me have tell have you. Now let me tell no, you. No, 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 no. We, we're moving off track. Can I? I just want to point out to our audience one thing. Please notice how the Quran is at the same time a book that wasn't understood for its, at, at its time, but it was written for the people at the future, and. Well, it seems like this is true, but at the same for for you, well, at the same time, it's a book that has rules for people that lived in the past, and the rules do not apply today. These two seem to be contradictory to me. For it for, for it to be a book that was beyond this time, and people who read it didn't understand it that it was written for us today. But when we to, when we try to apply the rules today, you say no, sorry, these are the rules for back then, and they do not apply anymore today. You okay. kind of you kind of want to have your cake and eat it too, basically. No, I and I have to explain for you that the book came in the past. Okay, certain rules was for the people of the past that they were understanding it. Certain rules are forever. Okay, what and a horrible rules, way to yes, communicate. With yes. So, okay. For uh, let's see. Uh, as I said, the rules of slavery. Okay, was for the people mm. of the past because they wouldn't accept to to abolish it totally. Yeah. Okay, 
They wouldn't accept. Gee, okay, go back, listen, uh, Armin. I hope that I had a, uh, uh, what is it? I had a, uh, ma a machine time and I would send you back to see how you can change people uh, back there, okay? He could mm. do that much uh, and it was I great. probably could figure it out if I was yes, God. Yes, yes. Uh, figure it out. It was the, the free will, okay? Oh, well, yeah. So I, you're basically, I, I, you're basically, you're basically. Free will. Everything I'm, is based on free will, okay? Mm. God didn't want to force anybody to anything, all right? So uh, you say all the time, Jesus, <laughs> okay? But anyway, yeah, I see. Why, what's wrong anyway, with that? And, and certain, and certain, what's wrong uh, with that? no, because uh, you all the time uh, get angry, Jesus. Uh, uh, anyway, I'm not angry, anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised and shocked. Okay, I'm not angry, no, I'm fine. You say, you say Jesus Christ, I'm like, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. No, I'm Christ. fine, don't, uh, don't worry uh, about uh, me, I'm okay. Uh, Okay, but anyway, uh, uh, certain rules, I didn't say the book belong just to the past or just belong to the future, okay? Certain rules uh, belong to the past, certain rules belong to the today, and those rules that, uh, those, the message, the message that belong, and we will, uh, we are understanding it today, and we have to apply it for the future, okay? So you that, me, message, that message wasn't understood by people of the past. You asked me okay? what I would do if I was God. Right. Okay. If I went yeah. back then with a machine yes. gun for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, but if I was God, first of all, let's assume that this God was not this um, supporting, you know, slavery, child molestation, and all that crap. But if just specifically to this one issue, I would say like, hey, chapter one and two is for you. Do not apply chapter three and four right now. This is for future generations. Like just that would have been such an holy crap. Like imagine all the confusion that you're like, oh my God, I have to explain to them. This is for these people. This is for that people. I could have simply, like he could have simply put that. Like there, I, you, you know. Okay, man, now I, 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 hold, No, no, let me tell you. I My TV manual is more clear than the Quran, okay? Like you have like declarations of human rights. You have guides to how to run your microwave. Like all of these humans have managed to come up with more, bit more clear and concise way of telling people what's right and what's wrong and what not to do. And the Quran seems to be like the fact that you even have to come and explain, oh, this means this. Oh, this doesn't mean this. this the, okay. The, the worst you could say about the Quran is that it actually it means exactly what it seems to mean, right? But if you're right and we're wrong, the best, the best you could say about the Quran is that it was a book that intended to have good messages, but it was written by somebody that had zero fucking idea how to communicate what it intended to mean. That's the best you could say about the Quran. But go on, sorry. I didn't know that you are going to use <clears throat> bad language here also. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. No, 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 no. Yeah, I didn't know yeah we no, do. No, no, yeah. I never open. Oh, f fuck I never... Islam, fuck Muhammad, uh, okay. fuck Christianity. Armin, fuck Armin, let, let him answer. Let him answer, please. Uh, uh, yeah. yes. so go ahead. I, go ahead. I, I never have been in such a, uh, you know, uh, well, if, uh, first time for everything. Discussion, yes. Discussion. Well. I took your vision. I took your virginity yes. over to for for <laughs> swear words. Okay, yes. Armin, <laughs> let Mustafa answer, please. Yeah. I should yes. have bought. I, I should have bought you a drink before, but sorry. But go on. <laughs> All right, go yeah. on. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I don't know uh, what you say is that uh, <clears throat> you don't understand uh, Islam. That's why we have the each the heart system in Quran. Okay, I know about that. To, to yes, uh, but what is each the heart system is not that uh, somebody has to read Quran for us and we have to, uh, you know, go through that uh, even in. 21st century. If it was that, we didn't need much tahedin or, or ulama, we say it, okay? We need them to explain for us, okay? Uh, because uh, this uh, ishtihad system is that uh, to to abolish uh, certain rules that belong to 1400 years ago, God left it for us and for, for the ulama who, who understand Quran better today, okay? So, <clears throat> Uh, why he didn't say it uh, 1400 years ago, you can ask uh, why he didn't uh, get rid of all problems, because it was his intention that we learn ourselves, we, we grow ourselves, and uh, perhaps it was too early for people of the past to understand such a things. And again, we went uh, out of the track again that uh, 
I was saying that the solution, the, the source of problems is this, okay, this jungle, and the, so, the solution is equality. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I don't know, you 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 uh, like to, to go again to such a small details uh, of, of uh, Quran. Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, the, 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 the source is the jungle we are living in, and everybody should understand that, okay? that this jungle make us to do all bad deeds. Uh, those mullahs who are in, in Iran killing people, they have no, uh, they are not crazy. They are just killing people because they can make billions of dollars. You know yourself, you see everyday corruption in, in the government, billions here, billions there, you know. Everything is a mafia system, we are, you know, uh, everywhere on this planet. Some places like Sweden, this mafia system is better. Some places is uh, worse like Iran, okay? So the worst parts are where there is Islam. What? And some of the worst parts are, uh, of this system is where Islam is ruling. We have uh, to stop uh, the how, about, how about how about South South America? They are good or what? Is Islam uh, They're ruling better than there? Islamic countries? Yeah? Like uh, yeah. like well, 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 you cannot even you cannot walk even you cannot walk even in uh, in Brazil, you know? You, you well, go I can't, your phone, I cannot, they, they take it from you. Yeah, go, trust go, me, go, I cannot. Go, trust me, go. I can't work. I can't work in Iran or Saudi Arabia either. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, the Muslim was saying that those are not really the Islamic countries, according to them. So I wanted to. We're up to two hours, so I wanted to. Um, uh, first of all, well, we're going to go to a couple of patent questions. You have about five ten minutes just for that, Mustafa. Yes. Yeah, so let's go with some of the questions that are coming from our patrons. Yeah. And, and and by the way, I wanted to th I know that you're coming here and there are two Yeah, yeah. Obviously there are two people who disagree with you. I really, really want to thank you for coming in and doing yeah, this. Thank you. Not a lot of people do this. Okay. So um let's do uh let's no, go. I appreciate it. I, I know you already knew what you're gonna you're signing up for, so uh it's very yeah. uh brave of you to come here and well not really brave, no, but I, very I open minded it. of you to come here. So thank you for that. Um Okay, so let's do. So we don't have a whole lot. I have one from uh, a Twitter, right? That I got, and and it was uh, somebody saying that uh, they feel that uh, you wanted to go back to you know when you chose your religion, when you went back to your original uh, religion that you were raised in. You said that you explored many other different religions, but you went back to the one that you were raised in. So. Uh, he's asking, was that uh, because of an affinity for the culture or because of familiarity? Why Islam and not the other uh, religions that you explored? Yeah, because I told you that uh, I couldn't find this uh, solution in any other uh, religion. Okay, <clears throat> For example, no religion has uh, this uh, Mecca that you are equal and uh, everybody have to stand uh, five times a day and uh, towards that equality and ask God to show me the right way, <clears throat> okay? Uh, nowhere, in no religion I can find that one, uh, that you have to uh, prostrate to equality and uh, go towards equality, which I found that uh, our uh, problems, all problems come from uh, inequality, the uh, capitalist system, the jungle rules and the jungle, and the solution is a human world where we uh, share everything equally with each other, okay <clears throat> and you don't own anything that's why you cannot steal anything because everything belongs to you and um, you cannot sell anything that's why you don't produce opium because you cannot sell it you don't produce cocaine you don't produce heroin you don't uh, produce cigarette and kill five million people a year on this planet just because you make billions of dollars uh, from uh, cigarettes or alcohol millions of mm. people no we, we get that so, okay. so that's, why, that's why I found the solution in Islam. Can you show me, as I told you before, I've said to those Christians as well, if you have a better solution, then I will follow them. I couldn't okay. find anything, anything so, else. 10.05 a.m. from Manobek, uh, Armin. Yes. Oh, I want me to highlight them? Okay, hold on. 10.05, yeah, if you can highlight them, that'll be good. Uh, uh, Manobek is asking, um, who is your favorite thinker or author? And uh, he has a recommendation for you. He's saying that, um, he would like you to, if he, you've read Yuval Noah Harari's yeah. Sapiens, which is like an international bestseller. So who is your favorite thinker or author? Uh, I ha I'm following an organization, okay? I don't know if they are not 
Uh, they are not uh, famous maybe worldwide, but uh, they are famous uh, by Iranians, okay? Uh, it is an organization called MEK. And, uh, oh my God, leaders, are you serious? You're, yes. Jesus, you're part of a terrorist cult. <laughs> Sorry, what is this organization? Can you say again? Uh, Armin, let, uh, uh, let me listen, to me, listen to me, Mr. Ali, Mr. Ali, mm -hmm. if you don't have knowledge and, uh, you know, have zero knowledge, don't say terrorist, okay? Because oh, I, uh, I can oh, yeah. put you there, okay? I can put you there, okay? Okay. Ask you, ask you, give me the symbol, a single, uh, you know, uh, evidence that they are terrorists. Okay. Okay. Jesus we'll we'll get to that. We will get Jesus to that. Armin, one second. We'll okay, get to that. Me, I, I, will... I just want to clarify. No, 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 let, me see, no, let me see. Clarify. Let me see, uh, Ali, because he, he, he I can. No, 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 I'm, guys, no, hold on. Some, time out. Time out. Time out. Yeah. I, guys, time out. Sorry, no, I'm, I'm, I'm moderating this. I'm moderating this. I'm looking at it from the point of view of our audience. Yes. You just mentioned yes. something. Most of our audience doesn't know what this is. So before yes. we go into what the Armin's claim is and what your claim is, can you tell us? So most of us, since you're the guest, can you tell us first what your uh, what this organization is and just let him answer the question, yes. Armin, uh, and then you can rebut it up. Yes. I just think it's a terrorist cult. Okay, but, okay. Yes, let, yes. let okay. Mustafa go first. All right. Okay. okay, let me tell you that uh, <clears throat> this organization has fought um, started. Um, uh, around 57 years ago, start to fight against the dictator Shah, okay? <clears throat> and then they were in jail, and then when Khomeini got the power, they started to fight against Khomeini. They are a Muslim organization. Uh, <clears throat> women are equal and leaders in our organization, and we believe in equality, okay? And <clears throat> because the West love these mullahs, okay? And they don't want democracy in uh, the region, especially in Iran, Okay, that's why in 1997, President Clinton put my organization name in terrorist list in order to appease Iranian regime. Okay, in 2003, you, uh, Europe by uh, uh, UK persuaded uh, uh, UK's foreign minister was Jack Stowe, uh, a corrupted man who was kicked out of parliament a few years ago. Okay, he persuaded Europe to put MEK in terrorist list that Mr. Arab means say that we are terrorists. <clears throat> oh, put, you are? Yes, to put MEK in terrorist list, okay, uh, so that uh, they can, um, you know, they can appease Iranian terrorist fascist regime, okay. But MEK went to the court in Europe and UK and USA, and all courts asked these governments to bring a single evidence that this group is terrorist organization. They didn't come up with a single evidence that this group is a terrorist organization. What happened? Mm. The second court in Europe, a court in London, and a court in Washington forced the governments to remove MEK from terrorist list because MEK is not a terrorist organization, okay? Is just a freedom fighter fighting against the biggest terrorist country on the planet, okay? And Jesus Christ, Mr. Armin, don't say all the time Jesus Christ. If you had a single, what? no, listen to me. If, if you, Jesus an Christ. Iranian, if you, an Iranian regime, and Europe, and USA, and UK had the single proof, you would come to the court, not here sitting, and just uh, talk empty words and say they are terrorists, okay? Why you didn't come to the court with the evidence, Mr. Armin? Can you tell me? Would you no, let no, me no. speak? Ask, tell me. Why you didn't come Would you let to the me court? speak without yes, interruption? Yeah. Because yes, I tell okay. Tell okay, me. Armin, go ahead. Why do you okay, think so, Okay, but I, I won't get interrupted, right? So I just want to let our audience know that the MEK is a one of the most dangerous cults uh, that from Iran. It's a terrorist group. It's an extremely unpopular. No, no, okay, hold on. No, 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 no. You have to allow you. Give me, give me. No, no. Give Okay, so no, no, no. MEK is one of the... No, you can't interrupt me. MEK is uh, one of the most dangerous uh, 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 cults. That is a, it's a cult that it was... I didn't actually know that you were one of MEK. I haven't actually... We we never had a terrorist sympathizer you, on the Armin, show. Just explain. Just explain what MEK I, okay. is and so why. So the MEK, they, they had terrorist attacks on innocent civilians in Iran from the very from the very inception. MEK, the MEK, uh, like, they are... Um, from another group that originally worked with the mullahs against the Shah, but then because the mullahs um, turned on them, 
um, you know, during early years after the revolution, the MEK started doing terrorist attacks on the mullahs, but also on innocent civilians in Iran. There is countless undeniable uh, records of that. This is part of history. They bombed a whole bunch of people, libraries, um, you know, uh, places where civilians were gathering. Uh, I know people that died from their terrorist attacks, right? But even after that, they uh, they were betrayed by the mullahs, so they had to leave the Iran. Uh, they went to Iraq, and they united with Saddam Hussein, okay? And this is, on, anybody that denies this is revis uh, re doing history revision. You could look up all of this information. Go do your own research. Uh, they, um, in 1983, actually, they, they were, um, they sided with Saddam Hussein, uh, against Iranian people. So the, in the Iran-Iraq war, they took Saddam's side um, and they helped Saddam carry out um, attacks on not just soldiers, but also uh, civil, uh, Iranian uh, civilians. Uh, they killed their own basically fellow Iranians because they felt betrayed by the Islamic Republic. Um, they sent, the, they, they have this uh, brainwashing technique. They, they take children, they brainwash them. They, it's a very like, they have these camps where they uh, take people and they have this uh, brainwashing techniques that they do on mass and they have uh, their followings um, as you know if you actually there's shit ton of documentaries on this uh, with people going in and recording these things uh, they are uh, ex suicidal they're willing to die a lot of them are willing to die for this cause and their leadership was not at all afraid to send their own members their own die, uh, die hard loyal supporters to be killed for their cause even in the iran iraq war when they send their own following to be to against the islamic republic they send them there knowing that this is a suicide mission so they they didn't even have any uh, sympathy or compassion for their own mek members they sent them okay, there is it enough not enough to to, to just uh, you know no, no, hold on. Let, okay. You no, ask no, me. No. You ask me. Like no, no. It, it keeps going. It keeps no, going. Uh, like no, no, Ali, 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 Sorry, this is the answer to a patron question, so we got to keep it yeah, quick. No, so, first of all, Ali, yeah, go Ali, ahead. Ali, first of all, it wasn't about MEK. Okay. Second of all, all this rubbish you are talking about, you <laughs> didn't bring them in the court, Mister Al uh, Armin. I could take you to the court, okay, uh, because. Everything you say, if you had a single of them, the truth, I have a single. No, listen to me. No, listen to me. I've where you were, no, where you were, Mr. Armin, when Iranian fascist regime, Europe, UK, USA were looking for a single, Mr. Ali, Mr. Okay. Ali, please, do you believe that all these things existed? An Iranian regime, European countries, USA, they didn't have a single of this to bring to the court because the courts in Europe, USA and UK are uh, separated from the state, okay? They are independent, okay? Why these countries, they didn't bring a single of these proofs they to did. the court? They, they did. did. Why? I have then why? I... No, 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 let me see. Let me see, Mr. Ali. Then why the court forced I... them to remove them from terrorist list? No, no, I don't ask you, I, Armin. I, I, because, I have an answer. Because, I have an answer. Because, no, let me see, Mr. Armin, uh, Mr. Ali. He's watching. I have an answer. Let me see. He is watching a lot of uh, movies from Iranian fascist regime that make. No, I don't. Not against, a single one. No, making okay. against against against. It's the biggest opposition against the biggest opposition because uh, MEK is the biggest so, opposition group against the Mullah's regime. Oh, okay. okay. Can I speak? Can I? No, 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 Ali. No, I have no, to respond no. to this. This is after, Berin, I, have Berin, to, I have to I told you that. But okay. I, I have to answer. Why you didn't be, I have to answer. Uh, Armin Sorry. has, so Armin has to, an answer for an answer. you. One second. Yeah. So first of all, uh, the MEK is one of the most hated groups by Iranian. The only things that Iranian people in Iran are more... Don't uh, lie. Are, Don't you know, lie. They are, okay, okay I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go ahead. I will uh, seriously you gotta let not interrupt. Finish. You have to let me speak. No, 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 let me I, see. He's lying. No, the, no, okay, I'm not guys, lying. we're gonna so, either no, I'm it's my turn to speak. Okay, okay so the MEK is it. one of the least popular groups, the one of the most Don't hated. Lie. Our, all right, I'm going to kick you out okay. if you keep Mr. interrupting Mr. me. Okay, you do. I am not lying at all. This is this okay. Is, do it. Okay, because all right, so I'm going to remove you from the chat group because you're not letting me speak. The MEK is is undeniably the, the most hated, the most hated group 
by both regime supporters and the people who are against the regime. There's only one group of people. There's only one group of people that Iranians hate more than the Islamic Republic of Iran, the government, which is the MEK. Every, like this is something that they could all hold, hold hand and agree on. Okay, the MEK because because, 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 of, because of, okay. Group, but here, right? let me let me say the Euro, Okay, here's here's what I'm saying. Okay, the the European Union, Canada. The United States, all of them have marked MEK as a terrorist organization. Okay. The only reason, the only reason why they decided to lift it is because they they see Iran as a threat. Okay. And they wanted to support a group that is they, they thought that is the most uh, financially that has the most resources against the Islamic Republic. And the only reason why they had the most finance, the most resources against the Islamic Republic is because of the money that they got, the resources that they got from uh, Iraq and then Saudi Arabia. But now in recent years, they realize that they have wasted their backing on an organization that has zero backing in Iran. And a lot of Iranians identify the people as supporting the MEK as people that who are betraying the people of Iran. And that's why in recent years, a lot of the U.S. politicians and Europeans who were trying to use MEK against Iran are realizing how, what a big of a mistake that they have made. And they're actually washing their hands clean okay. of this vile terrorist group. By okay. the way, if you guys, if you um, if you want actual evidence, there is unlimited, unlimited number of sources uh, in detail going over the absolute vile, disgusting crimes. The, uh, here's what I will tell you: If you once you go, once you go look at the research, I could tell you this: um, as much as I hate Islam, the MEK ideology is by far worse than Islam could ever be. MEK is a more toxic, dangerous idea than MEK, than Islam itself. Okay. Islam, more, you know, yeah. So it's a cult, it's dangerous, it's a terrorist, and it has burned people alive. This is a group, this is a cult that has had its own members burned alive for its cause. All right. And now we're gonna hear why I'm lying. Okay. But you guys, but before before I add him back and he tells me I'm lying, I'm lying, guys. Just go do your own research. Don't believe either one of us. But but I mean, let him have to have the last okay. word. Yeah, all right. Uh, okay, all right. Okay, Mr. Ali. Um, first of all, it was about Islam, not uh, about MEK. Second of all, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, why I want okay. this to okay. be do you know, thing, but, but I don't yes, know. Yes, Mr. Ali. Mr. Ali. Mr. Ali. Do you think that John McKay, Rudy Giuliani, thousands of uh, European uh, parliamentarian, okay? Majority of UK Parliament, many times they have uh, supported MEK. Okay, uh, just few days ago, just few days ago, uh, it was uh, 17 yeah, Friday. On Friday, we had a rally as well. Uh, top, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Republicans, top Democrats, uh, a lot of European. Uh, we have uh, four prime minister, like Canada's prime minister. Uh, um, and we have had uh, Spain Prime Minister, uh, both of them, uh, the, the conservative and the, the socialist one. Uh, yeah. I don't remember the name. All of these people, uh, several uh, several uh, foreign minister, like, like France for, foreign minister, okay, they support MEK, they talk in MEK's uh, uh, no, rallies. It's okay? an opposition, right? It's the opposition. Yes, yes, yes. So, and you think, you think, you think for one second, no, listen to me, thought, yeah, 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 listen to yeah. me, Mr. Ali, you think for a second, for a second, you think that John McCain with that age fly all the way from Washington to, uh, to what is it? to Albania to meet this opposition and give his support to a terrorist organization who burned his own, uh, you know, and uh, he's lying because he said that they removed MEK from the list because they thought that they can put pressure on the Iranian regime. The lie is because, the lie is because Iranian, uh, what is it, uh, European countries and, uh, sorry, uh, courts, Europe courts, UK courts, as I said, and Washington court, Force these governments to remove MEK from terrorist list because okay. there was no any evidence, not okay. even a single evidence. Okay, okay. he's so we lying. Got, we he got, said, no, so. he's lying. He said that the governments remove, but it is a lie because the, I can give you, I can put you the court. Okay, the, order the court that 
ask the governments to remove MEK from the terrorist list because sure. they are not a t- terrorist. Mushiba, okay? Mushiba. okay, so I got, uh, we got Armin's point, we got your point. Uh, yeah, one more thing, yeah, one, one more thing, no, just one more, just one more point that he yeah. said that they are hated. Two years ago, I was in the rally in Paris, okay, 100,000 people gathered okay. in that, that rally, okay, the Iranian regime, okay, sent a terrorist, uh, two terrorists, uh, to blow up our our rally, me and my family were there. Rudy Giuliani was there. Okay, many politicians were there, and uh, two two three days. No, on Wednesday was uh, the the court for after two years. The court for one of the terrorists uh, who was Iranian. Uh, what is it? Uh, diplomat. Okay, uh, Iranian diplomat from Austria who was caught in uh, Berlin. Uh, in sorry, I think in Germany. Yeah, he was caught there. He gave half a kilo explosive to these two terrorists to bring and put their very well, okay, in Paris, okay? Yeah. okay. How come, how come a, a regime accept such a, such an embarrassment, okay, right. to a group who is hated by most Iranians? Uh, get... Such a lie, Mr. Arun. I, I got, I got, I got <laughs> no. Guys, do go to, do your own research. There's plenty of, yeah. Yeah, so plenty of to... there's, there's plenty of not... tra- recorded crimes. Uh, if this is not, if, yeah, this is, the United this is States has supported topic. other criminals as well. Okay, which Armin, regret Armin, it in the Armin. future. MEK is one of them. MEK is the worst, actually. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. Armin, just a second. You made your point. You made your point. People can do their research. That is not the topic of this show. So I yeah, want yeah, to move exactly. on. One last, I know we're, we're very over time. If I would be happy to have you back, Mushma, if you want to really talk about this and have a separate episode on this. But uh, right now, I want to have one yes. last patron question. One last patron question for us, Rookie, ten oh seven a.m. Um, what is Mushtaba's concept? This is what is your concept of salvation and the afterlife? Uh, and the second thing he's asking is, what is better, Sharia law or democracy? So, uh, well, Sharia law, democracy. I think you've covered that. That you don't think that there's a difference, but salvation and the afterlife. I want to know: Do you believe in uh, the Quranic notion of hell, and do you think that eternal punishment? Eternal punishment in hellfire is something that is morally justifiable for people who are on this earth for a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of time, and they don't even have any direct evidence uh, that there is any religion. So what do you think about hell and the afterlife? Yeah, I I believe that uh, uh, what we do um, here in this life, uh, for example, uh, you know, like people who put their entire life. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Armin, for, we're done with that topic. Come on, you can. No, I'm not saying anything. I'm just trying to proof of, of, of I the no, MEK no, killing no, civilian. No, no, Armin, no, Armin, no, he's no, answering a question no, about the afterlife. No, I, okay, I just come trying on, screenshots. Okay, MEK killed on. civilians. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know. I get that, Armin. That's that's fine. It's we'll talk about that another time, but. He's answering a separate question. We do that while okay. he's answering a separate question. All right. Which uh, he, he, okay. He has the tool and he's uh, interrupting. Other, if I had the I tool, I, would also, I didn't say I would, anything. I didn't I would, say uh, anything. Also, keep talk, I would keep any, talking. Keep talking. Would, yes, I would put the also keep the proof. Talking. Also. Keep okay. Talking. We're yeah. off the MEK, so, please, guys. Yes. So yes. Much uh, After so, life and hell. This is something our audience yes, is more yes. interested in. Yes, I believe that uh, somebody like uh, Adolf Hitler should get his punishment, okay? But how long he get his punishment, that's up to God, okay? He say that uh, forever, that's uh, up to him, I don't know. Maybe he will forgive later, maybe he's, he will not. He says himself that uh, I will punish whomever I want, I will uh, forgive whomever, who, whomever I want, okay? So the Quran uh, says eternity. It says eternity. So I, I tell you that yes, I tell you that it's we not don't like know. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We don't know what he will do, uh, how long he will keep them in hell. But I believe that it should be uh, some. Uh, you cannot just uh, you know come here, kill millions of people. Okay, like these mullahs of Iran, like uh, Adolf Hitler, all these people, <clears throat> and just go without punishment. That's injustice. Okay, I don't believe that's justice. And you, some people put their entire life, okay, to save lives, like Doctors Without Borders, like my organization, MEK, they have put their entire life, 57 years, to fight two dictatorship, two dictatorship. Okay? Terrorist. So, okay, now, uh, anyway, uh, these people should get their rewards because they have put their lives, their, uh, let's say, okay, we don't talk about MEK. We, we, yes, we talk about, yeah, we talk about, Doctors with, Without Borders. 
Mother oh, Teresa. Great, yeah. Mother Teresa. Oh, okay? no, no, not Mother, Mother Teresa. Teresa. Please. Yeah, let's okay. stick to Doctors Without Borders. Our yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Okay. Please. Yeah. Mother uh, Teresa any, was evil. Any, 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 any person. Okay, what I know about Mother Teresa is uh, just I know the good one, but I don't know the evil one. Okay, okay now, I don't know. I don't know Mother Teresa. Uh, yes, yes. Let's okay. talk anyway, about like, Doctors Without the Borders. Doctors, yes, the afterlife. Uh, let's yes, yes. Focus on that. Yes, yeah. okay. Let's say Doctor uh, uh, Without Borders. Okay. <laughs> so I believe that uh, they should get their rewards. Okay, for for putting their lives to save lives. All right, and those who kill people, they should get their punishment. So this is. Uh, I say this is justice, okay? Without this one, it's injustice. It cannot be like this, that we do everybody, kill everybody, and then go without any punishment, nothing will happen, it finish. That's not justice. You have somebody who eats pepperoni pizza once in a while, has bacon, drinks alcohol, uh, is, in, uh, is an apostate, uh, doesn't believe in Islam, and is in a same-sex marriage. Um, do you think that somebody like that, according to Islamic law and according to the Quran, these are okay. all deeds that will send them to eternal hellfire. Do you think that that person, even if he's a good person, um, okay. and a lot of these people are, you know, eating bacon, drinking okay. alcohol, being in a same sex marriage. Do you think that these people deserve uh, this kind of punishment for Adolf Hitler, the same punishment as Adolf Hitler? No, definitely not. No, no, so, definitely not. No, the, the thing is that I say... Because the Quran uh, doesn't make a no, distinction. No, no. God will evaluate your good deeds and bad deeds, okay? So uh, the good deeds and bad deeds must, uh, you know, depend on what you have done. And then there are, and there are uh, bad deeds that... Uh, can, he will not punish as I, I am not God, but I say as I believe. Okay, bad deeds that you don't understand that it is bad. Okay, like somebody drink alcohol. Okay, but he doesn't know. I used to drink alcohol myself before. Okay, mm -hmm. but I didn't know that it is bad. It is wrong. All right. So that's not going to be punished because I didn't know. Like like a monkey, uh, like a chimpanzee. Okay, commit bad deeds. They kill. They they rape. They do everything. But God is not going to punish them. A child uh, does that bad deeds, but uh, God is not going to punish because that child doesn't yeah, understand. I hear, so I hear the, what you're so, yeah. so, the, so there are things that you don't, if you understand that this is bad, that you are going to kill this person and this is bad, you will be punished, okay? That's uh, uh, what God will punish you. And okay. you, can even, you, can even, uh, you can even repent from that. If you really repent and you say that you you didn't know or you are sorry, okay, so that's up to God. He will uh, he say no bad deed is bigger than my forgiveness. All okay. right. Okay, so that sounds. I think that we'll we'll end on that. We're definitely over time. We got distracted with the the whole thing, uh, the MAK thing, and we Arvin, you're muted. Yeah, um, I, I just want to say don't don't guys don't leave in the live chat because I want to say something after. Okay, so <laughs> what we're going to do? We are is going to lie <laughs> more. Yeah, sure, sure. No, I'm going, I'm going to show them evidence. I'm going to show them evidence. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. so how about my evidence? How about my evidence? Well, here's your evidence. Here. Here. Is this not a how real about, picture? Okay. Is this not a real picture? Oh my gosh. So, okay. All right, Armin. Okay. Can, what, can, can we, we not? Can I we can do can on a separate time? A, yes, a let's do it in a separate time. Do you want a separate? There you go. I can. Yes, um, I will do it. Yes, I, I love like to. Would you like uh, much about to come on at some, some other point, or maybe to, on your channel to have a one-on-one yes. -on -one with you on MEK, or on this uh, for like a good quick half-hour type thing and talk about MEK? Yes, okay. yeah, let's do that. Yeah, with all, with all evidence. With I didn't evidence. know we have a terrorist sympathizer here in our show. This is great. I've never had this uh, Armin, experience. That's not. Armin, Armin, you have no, no right. this is no, Ali. This is, no, is a different standard. No, this is not Ali. Ali. This is a different no. standard, okay? This is not a matter you of disagreement, no right okay? Do that without any proof, okay? I will if have you, proof for you. Yes, you have no I, right I to do don't that. I will have. Yeah, I have every have right. right. Stop. Listen, me. there are Come people who support. Guys, I Ali, this people. is not. This is this is now beyond just like simple disagreement. Okay? I can Ali, say that you are terror. If I say that you are terrorist, that's correct. Do you go like ahead, it? do it. I'm not stopping you. No, go no, ahead and say it. Go yes, ahead. You have every right, guys. But I don't do that. But I don't do that because yeah. because I don't because I, I'm not and, and yeah. you are a terrorist. No, nobody can understand right. what anybody's saying. Okay, okay. Yeah, nobody can ahead. understand what anybody's saying because everybody's. He asked me a that. question. I was answering. I I know. Yeah. I'm just trying to say like there are people. I know people who support Hamas and Hezbollah. I know people like that. Mm -hmm. I I and the, often they there's all kinds of things. I I don't want to cast any aspersions or actually say that somebody is something else without having a conversation. So we can have that conversation really? later. Yeah. But for now, for now, 
Uh, Mushabad, thank you for coming on. I know that this wasn't easy. I know that this was like, there's a lot of opposition. They got very, very heated. But um, I think that your willingness to come on and actually speak to people who disagree with you, uh, especially even, even when it's aggressive or even when it gets heated, is um, I really, really, really appreciate that. And I think that it would be good if uh, more people did that. We certainly do it. We try to do it as well. And I hope that uh, I, I hope that you do come back and talk to Armin about this. I know that this is a this is a pretty contentious topic. I that I didn't know about at all. I didn't even I haven't okay. even heard of it. I will I will come. I will come with my evidences. Okay, and we mm -hmm. can do it. Okay, sure, sure. That would be right. fantastic. Okay. I will have so, video evidence, not just, not just, uh, okay, I wouldn't have okay, just video, like, yeah. I would have video okay. documentation. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do yes. everything and, and uh, you will also be no. allowed to share your screen and show things. Yes, yes. Uh, and we'll, we're going to do all that next. But for okay. now, guys, uh, we're at two and a half I just, hours. I just, very, very but, long I just only wanted to, I just want to say like, you know, when we have, uh, it's one thing for us to have respectful disagreements with people. And I, it's, it's okay for us to be tolerant of everybody, no matter what their views are. Okay. But when it comes to, you know, actually, here's an interesting, Faraz is saying most people are, um, I, this is the Alishba com, uh, comment, right? Alishba quote, uh, that uh, most humans are more moral than the scriptures than they hold sacred. So that's why Alishba is. And because of that, I'm very accepting of Muslims, Christians, Jews, because they're good people and we just have this agreement. That is not true. This quote is not true about the MEK, okay? This is an organization and a group of people that are not at all more moral you than cannot the Quran. Leave it, you know? you they're cannot they're not at all. They're not at all more moral than the Quran. In fact, okay. in fact, uh, they I mean, have managed to go this, below. Man. And hold on. In fact, they managed. To, they have managed to go below the morals and standards of the Quran, which is actually an amazing achievement. But anyways, go. Okay, so I want to hear more about this. I want to know what all of this right. is about, but we can't do it right now. We just can't. Yeah, okay, right. so we got to go. We got to go. Everybody, uh, thank you for joining us. Mustafa, uh, I want to hear more about your side of the MEK thing. It's not something I know about. I'm hearing Armin's side. I don't think that we should disengage from anybody. I think we should all be able to talk to everybody else. Okay, so yes. we're going to hear about that at some other point. Not thank you for joining us. And not I'm going to... Yeah, you are a filmmaker. Uh, you have a Facebook page and MK you have a YouTube like channel. ISIS. I have seen that. And we're going to link to that in the description for this um, so that people can actually find you there. And we're also going to provide your Twitter handle and everything else. Okay? okay. All right. Thank you very much, guys. We're going to go. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. The Secular Jihadists have been made possible thanks to the Illuminati and the covert support of Israel and the CIA. That's what we have been told, but we haven't received our checks yet. If you like what we do, please support us. Share the podcast with your friends. Write and tweet us with topic and guest suggestions. Or head over to secularjihadist.com and give a dollar or more for exclusive access to live video. Have your questions read and answered on the air and more. Till next time, may the flying spaghetti monster be with you.